Yo, that's crazy. That is crazy. Mine. Pull up that right there. Right yeah. there, right there, right there, right there, right there. Do you know what? I don't even need to do no intro. Cause that was the intro. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I told you guys already we're gonna be back for part few. Um I had to start with that song there. Yeah, it's inevitable. Yeah, we got Jester on the show, but I had to start with that song there. And before we went live in the studio, Jester's in the studio right now. Big up, Jester. Big up for yourself. Yeah, yeah, man. Thank well you forward, very much. Well thank you for having me being here. You get me? No Big problem. Up thank you. So, uh, it's an honor and a pleasure. Yeah. No problem, my bro. Coco, yeah. we've been in the studio before we went live. Mm -hmm. We just had Jester mm -hmm. demonstrating to us about the lyrical video and stuff and, you know, about him being in the park. And yeah. what, just quickly, Jester, just demonstrate quickly for the camera. <laughs> yeah. what, what, what you said was going on in that video. Just You can, you can stand <laughs> up, my bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Production's see, there, it's, production's it's there. No to... games. You understand? Remember the, 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 the song start? Hop the hard man feet like what? Yo, listen. So we're going to be in the park. Yeah, you got to watch this video in the car. Don't get park, you yeah. out your seat. Yeah, in the park. In the park, park. yeah. The park. You can do this in the gym. Bring your significant other. But watch this. When you got this song playing, you know what? Watch out. You know you have, you know you have the seesaw thing. Yeah. You know you have the seesaw thing. Yeah. Yeah. She's going to be around me. You know what I mean? Like that. So, hold the heart. Man, I can buy. What? Mr. Jason, then leave off his hand drop. Watch it. Then we're going to bring her. Watch it now. We're going to bring her. We're going to bring her. We're going to bring her to, to the pull up bar. You understand? Yeah, you make sure laugh round man like a butterfly. It's a BS, yo. We have a set up like the special key up on the front of the box and the chest. Kellogg, that body, yeah. Let it land I'll pull up, we'll pull up, we'll line up. Hey, yo. I make your zoom zoom swell up, swell up, swell up. <laughs> swell up. Just yeah. to dance like you can. Yeah, Wait, it's the energy. Yeah. This is what music's Get supposed that. to be. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. <laughs> So my One people, song can change your whole mood and change your day. <laughs> That's Andrew. it. My yeah. line's hurting me. And so my people, the reason why I wanted Jester to demonstrate, I said to my production, I said, production, get ready because I'm going to have him literally demonstrate. <laughs> yeah. I want the camera to catch him. Even though, you see what the man do, him reach from around this or to over this or my production's working though. We got that like that. Big up production. Big up my other production member that just walked in. And yeah. when he walks in, he mind his own business. He's doing his thing. And I, I saw him stop <laughs> and turn and stand to attention. Like, you know, he had to look. And like, like him, I said, Oh, that man, yeah, man. Yeah, man, man. <laughs> but, what energy, what but, the, it's energy, the energy, yeah. yeah, yeah, energy. yeah. And Definitely. the reason why I wanted you to demonstrate that, because I told you I'm going to continue on from what you said, because on the way into the studio, I was listening to the EP in, in the van, and I felt energetic. I'm not going to lie, I felt energetic. And I, I sent in the song, and I said, no, nah, this song's bad. Coco can tell you, I'm not lying. I said, yeah. this song is bad. This song, this song needs support. And my production, Big Up Care of Culture, he said, and I'm going to quote, he said, as I'm listening to that, I feel sorry for the gal them whose man, <laughs> whose man played this before or during the act. Yeah, so exactly <laughs> what you just said about the, the what, what, he, he feels sorry for the gal them. So sorry for Sandra. ladies, yeah, ladies, <laughs> <laughs> production feels sorry. <laughs> but um, yeah, Why? Jester. What an introduction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. what an introduction. Welcome, <laughs> welcome to the Out of Minute podcast. Well, yeah. We're full of vibes over here. We're yeah, full of vibes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We uh, come for change the game, man. Yeah. We come for change the game. We've been doing it for a long time. Yeah. Coco, they you start this one. Yes, Coco, go. <laughs> well, you know what? My first question is, what inspired the Bena, 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 know what inspired hey. that, that particular <laughs> line? Yo, you know what? Yeah, all my music is real. And yeah. all my music is really from my experiences. And, and, and if I say some things and they're not from my experience, then yeah. they're from the eyes of people that I'm very close to. So I'm, I'm actually seeing this, what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. You understand? So, but this song now, this, this is about me. If, like, like, a, a lot of my music is very sexual like that. From a debut single with um, Romantic with The Angel was mm -hmm. the first song I came out with. This song is about me and my wife. Right. You see me, me I tell you it's about a man and a woman. Mm -hmm. But I would have to say this this is about me and my woman. Mm -hmm. You understand? I'm in love when she whine and bend up and you know the words mm -hmm. of the song, something fat till it swell up, swell up. And as a man you have to make sure so you you stay fit mm -hmm. and strong. You understand? Mm -hmm. And like the other song, you gotta be ready, ready. You okay. understand? Cause you can't did like anti fold them, you know. That is it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you, well, understand? you, you said all large in and in charge. <laughs> yeah, that is it. You said all your music is real, <laughs> yeah. right? So, we have 
the lady herself in the studio. So mm -hmm. later we're gonna find out if the music real, all right? <laughs> you know, real, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna show me this one. No, no, watch it, watch it. Why is he saying no? <laughs> no, 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 this one. <laughs> no, no, all, no, no. This all, is out of it's many. It's all with, spiritual with, and yes. it's all blessed and it's sanctified by God. See, they got a ring on my finger. Oh, they have a ring on my finger. He's a one burner. Yeah, He's a one burner. Right, People, you see that? What thing is that? Big up wifey. Before, can we big up the world boss, you know, but I was a one burner before not me single, Mr. Yeah. Yeah. I'm joking, Be, I'm what, joking. What, what, that, we, we've been running this copy down movement for a long time. Yeah. yeah. From the get-go. Sorry, Styler, sorry. Yeah, got you. No, man, you're good, man. I was just mm. going to say that ring there is very mindful, very demure. Very demure, very yeah. cutesy. Very, very cutesy. We yeah. like that, yeah? One brain, a big up him. Yeah. Mm. Um, <laughs> yeah, man, so people, as you can suggest, you make me laugh, I swear to God. Yeah. <laughs> it's in the name. It's in the name. Yeah. 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 Well, we have Epic and we have Jester. So, Epic, my, my question to you now, yeah? Mm -hmm. You just... Meet Jester, I guess. Is this the first time you meet him? Yeah, first this time. first time right. I meet him. First yeah. ever time I've you meet seen, Jester. On the Instagram social media, yeah, yeah I've met him on day. Yeah. Okay. First time in, in person. person. Okay. And, and I think right. actually, actually speaking as well. Okay, yeah. man. Yeah. We love that. That's what yeah. we do on the Out of Many Podcasts. We bring many peers, persons together and bring us together. But interestingly enough, you guys have something in common, right? Mm, yeah. yeah, man. Epic, yeah. let them know what I'm going. St. Thomas. Yeah, man. <laughs> that is it. It's from the same area. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> y'all ask me. Yeah, the whole yes, of the whole of man. From y'all to Albion, you know yeah, what I mean? Oh, from yeah. Artis to Naris, go straight back Jeez, south. Jeez, poor man's car. Poor man's car. The whole of them are with place, man. Yeah, yeah man. Coco, we'll, 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 we'll just leave them to it. We'll just leave them to it. East side. East side. I know this. Yes. Yeah. All right. While we're here, those of you that are watching this podcast right now, you can leave some comments as well if you so let me see how many artists you can name from saint thomas let me see mm -hmm. how many artists you guys at yeah that's the new challenge can name in from saint comments. thomas in, in the, the comments in, yeah. in the comment section mm -hmm. yeah yeah that we are going to right now that's the challenge for the next two weeks until the next yeah episode. how many how many artists oh, can no. you guys name yeah bad artists we're not talking about the insignia i'm joking well, if you're not making a proper impact, you're a little bit, you're no, going to get swallowed no, up. Yeah, that's the truth. It's, it's all jovial. It's all jokes for people. But yeah, truth. how many artists yeah. can you guys name? Or even if you're a St. Thomas artist yourself, you're up and coming grassroots, put yourself in the conversation. Yeah. Right yeah. now, we're highlighting and we're shining a light on St. Mm -hmm. Thomas because Wally Papa Bad Artist powered up yeah. from St. Thomas. Sure. I'll start you off. Popcorn. There you go. Easy. There you go. Simple. Right. Epic. Yes, I. I want you to put on your DJ hat now. Yeah, mm -hmm. I have many hats. Put on your DJ hat, straight up and down. Mm -hmm. What's your opinions of the artist of what you just heard that song in particular? The energy, man. Yeah. yeah, man. The energy first and foremost. And remember, big part, you know. Many artists you will see, and you're probably playing four or five songs from them. Then forward to UK and perform. What is it that is going to get you playing more songs? Mm -hmm. You go to the show, mm -hmm. you see them perform, and you see some song get certain reaction. Mm -hmm. What end up happen if you are a DJ? Either your next mix mm -hmm. yeah. or your next radio show, yeah. you go and play them songs there mm -hmm. that you weren't playing before because yeah. their performance yeah. mm -hmm. convinced you to say, yo, me need to play more. And there's, there's few artists that can do that. Like I've seen Actian do it with many songs, some songs that just on a rhythm. Yeah. That nobody pay attention with. That's in bugled with. You have some artists that can give that song an extra 20, 25%. Elephant Man, when you come here, talk about energy, so I have a talk about. When you talk about certain artists, then just add some extra yeah. 20, 25% and you go, I mm -hmm. need to play this. Yeah, yeah. it's true. Or we need that song to pan dub. Because yeah. you know, we stay as DJ. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of the two. I need to play this. I need that song to pan dub. Or yo, the artist, yeah? Bad. Yeah. He needs to have yeah. the next show. Yeah, that's what... <laughs> the same thing I said when um, Stan was sent in the thing into the, the group. I'm like, you know what? We need to have him on the Christmas special because the energy alone make you want to be around somebody like that. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah like we're it. definitely going to get him on the Christmas special. We, yeah. We're going to do a Christmas special, guys, Um, where we're going to have some artists and some talent and so forth. Yeah. In here, we're going to have a jamming session and just have a nice end of year special. It's going to be nice. So, be just like, hopefully, we're going to have you here if you take off. There, there you go. There you go. To be honest, he's on camera so he couldn't say no to be honest with you <laughs> when I lock off him I lock off him camera right? <laughs> but yeah no just um, thank, thank you very much for that feedback Epic I appreciate that and yeah, same thing cool. again if I put on my DJ hat 
Again, it's the energy. Um, unapologetically speaking, I don't need to talk in tongues or go around no corner. I'll tell you the God's honest truth. I have known about Jester from mm -hmm. before the whole AG online and the whole mm -hmm. viral video. Because I see some right. people, people going to say, you know how people stay already. Yeah. Oh, Styler's only getting him because he saw him yeah. on AG. And, yeah, no, no, no. no. So I want to show you that promotion works. I've known about Jester. I've been in contact with Jester. Mm -hmm. Jester's come to my events and supported mm -hmm. what I've done. However, this is why it's important to always stay visible. Mm -hmm. Jester triggered back onto my memory because I saw back the video yeah. with AG online. And there you go. That's what I'm saying. Artists, you have to stay in people's faces. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. You have to stay in people's faces. Not that I forgot about Jester. Not yeah. that I never rated Jester. It's yeah. just the fact that he popped up on my, in my algorithm at that time. And I said, oh, snap. Yeah. Jester. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Actually, like, um, still had reads. Still yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. literally yeah. oh snap just and then it was the performance and then it was like coco said we need a special guest for this week and we had some names and i said no jester i said mm. he's the right person to bring now mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. and the thing is it was only meant to be epic because of the album dropped and i said yeah. you know what let's let's do something different let's yeah. have a producer and a dj and yeah. i was why not yeah like why not? Why, you yeah. know what i mean let's, let's bring them together mm. you never know what can happen i can tell you guys a true story right um when Diani first came to England, I, I interviewed him before he came to England when nobody really knew who Diani was. I gave him his first interview in Jamaica. I went to Downsound Studios and gave him an interview. And I told him, I said, bro, you're going to make it. You're gonna." He had a song called Heaven Telegram out at the time. And I said, you're going to make it, my bro. I said, you're going to come to England and rare, rare, rare. What happened? We ended up bringing him to England. He came to England. The first time he came here, I done an interview with my with my team, Carib Culture, and I, and I decided to bring IQ at the time. Mm -hmm. I decided to put them together on the same sofa. Diani never knew IQ. IQ never knew Diani. Now, fast forward now, 2024, Diani's doing a UK tour. Who the who's he got a special guest? IQ. Yeah. Who he has a song with? IQ. So you never know you never what know. can happen. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's not it's me true. trying to shoot my glory. No, we just want to bring people together because you never know what mm -hmm. could happen. Right. You know what I mean? And I just want to say, bro, what you did there by going on DJ AJ, that was a good thing, bro, because... You you, yeah. you you put yourself back in people's faces right. again to remind yeah, yeah. them I am just yeah. I am here. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, I've seen a lot of people go on that guy's show and yeah. they fade out. <laughs> and I like some people go on it for a gimmick. <laughs> yeah, them just go well. on it because he's popping at the because moment, but so they want you know. Right. But you're taking right. your thing yeah. serious. It's not yeah, a popular yeah. thing, you know. And um, I realized you didn't find him in Brixton. You went to Kings Cross. What's that? What you feel like you're uptown? You know, I'm going Brixton. I want to go on this side. I want to go on this side. I want to go on this side. We're from Western, it so it's closer to us. Okay, so you're from Western. We moved out by by Heathrow now, so we're literally right by the airport. So anytime we want, zoops, yeah, we're gone. So you guys have something else in common because you was talking about Norfolk earlier, which is. Yeah, I love this. I grew up I on love... Lady Margaret Road, North Road. Yeah, yeah. Do, do you know yeah, what? Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna blame you two for something. Yeah, the fair way. I'm, I'm, That's not I'm, me. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna blame both of you for something. You see, this what's happening right now on camera. Yeah, and you guys can zoom into me because I'm gonna blame them for something. Every time I go to Jamaica, right? Even though I'm Jamaican, they still call me a foreigner. Cool. Mm -hmm. Every time I go to Jamaica, and I meet somebody that's educated because more time they f they always think that we're Yankees. Oh yeah, they try twang and I'm, like, I'm not from America, mate. Mm -hmm. Nah, I'm from England. You know what I mean? Like stop stop twanging. I'm mm -hmm. not from, yeah, yeah. So the ones that are educated and know that I'm British because you can hear the accent, they will say, yeah, um, you know, say um, me know, me, me have a cousin from England. Him named Mark. You know him? And I'm like, I you Mark. And and I blame you lot because you lot everywhere you lot go, you lot link up. Yeah, but me know you know this. Yeah, you're that, not that's why yeah, when I go to true. Jamaica, they say, yeah, me have a friend. Him named John. Him never England. You must like, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, you know, say me have a friend from London and him named Bob. And I'm like, what part of London? Um, Nottingham. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, and you know it's true as well. Look, Coco's laughing because she know you all know. You all know. You all had that question yeah. put to you. Yeah, and hey, you must know. And I blame yeah. you guys. But it's a small world, but out of many one people like that was said. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a blessing. I love the energy between you guys already. Um, so epic. You said energy. Yes. Man. Now you as a producer, put on your production hat. Now yep. put on your DJ hat. Just put on your overall mm. hat. I want you to give some feedback on the song you just heard. You only heard a little bit of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two. Jester himself, yeah? That's what I want you to do right now, based on the little bit of what you heard, to mm -hmm. Jester himself. So feedback. Mm -hmm. Well, the song, the song in, in itself is already put out, yeah? Mm -hmm. In terms of it record. He's already showing, and I mean, he was demonstrating a while ago, visuals and all of yeah. that. So he already have promotion. Mm -hmm. All of that now is going to then cross over into the performance and whatever, because yeah. when people see video, 
we're in a, in a visual world. Yes. Next thing you know is people on TikTok doing the same thing with the woman. Yes. Mm. So then... Yeah, it inspires it, yeah. It's about him now making sure that <clears throat> yeah. he talk <laughs> when he's on stage because yeah. now everybody going to challenge him. So yeah. what's up yeah. Remember when you yeah. saw him tell the fat man and <laughs> yeah. pick up one and then he might for forever do it. The other yeah. day, them have Sean and be a child do it. Oh, gosh, I saw that. Oh, you're wicked. <laughs> so, so I'm just saying, I'm just saying, this is, this, is, this, is, this, this, this is what happened in the dance hall. This is, not, this is why we love the dance hall space. Yeah. Yeah. We're talking about the energy. We're talking about the performance. It can't happen to anybody. Yeah. But you, the, 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 you said any advice, make sure, say, where you put in your song, yeah. when they're ready to challenge you on the stage, yeah. you can yeah. deliver. Yeah. Because... Yeah. The same thing, you got that energy and everything. So people are going to come there for that energy, come there for that vibe. And it's just that, like, be yourself. Because right. whenever the thing take off and then you need to find the next thing to, yeah. you already, energy is your thing. It's not hard to find back a next energy thing. Right. Yeah. But if energy is not your thing and you go in the studio, go make an energy song. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you're not normally yeah. an energy person. Yeah. You're normally a... That's you're yeah, in a yeah. problem to recreate mm. that energy. Yeah. Because it's not your natural thing. So you're good. But you're mm -hmm. one of those artists that you have a lot of vibes to you because I remember now, 2020, 2020, 2021, I believe it's your wife that contacted me when I was on the radio and I played your song. So that song, ready, 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 stop, stop, stop. Oh, ready, ready, when it just that come ready. out. Yeah, don't yeah. get me that one. Make sure I see your wife from there with no, 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 time to like put all that energy into the music you know what it is i'm a, firstly let me say i'm always making music i got mm -hmm. a lot of songs and this is what people don't, don't realize because because for the first three years of my music career mm -hmm. all they saw was three songs you had ready yeah you had uh, romantic and you had jealousy yeah and they all three different songs romantic with the angel it sounds more like a dance or song yeah. baby jump up for the true dong yeah and then you have jealousy me feel jealous when yeah. Uh, singing more, yeah, you understand? More slow, and then we come yeah. back with the ready, ready. Yeah. But what we do with the ready now, what I've done is show the people them look at my versatility. It's yeah. not just in the yeah. sound, mm -hmm. yeah, it's not just in the in, in the, 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 the concept of uh, or the what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. It's also, yeah, I gotta say, different actually, a different um, deliverance cadence of a song. Mm -hmm. And ready, ready, even though it have a dance hall sound, it don't sound nothing like romantic, you understand? Yes, and it yeah. don't sound nothing like 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 yeah. like um jealousy, yeah. This energy is coming out of me like rightly what you just said. That's me. Mm -hmm. I'm actually an energetic bungs in the world mm -hmm. person. <laughs> no, no, that's me. Yeah, yeah. that's me. And, yeah. and, and, the, and the beautiful thing about, I mean, I blew up my trumpet, you know, yeah? But the beautiful thing about me, because I reflect on myself a lot, mm -hmm. yeah? I, I know that, you see me, when I make my music, you can be sure that if you give me a rhythm with another 10 people, none of those 10 people is making a song yeah. like I'm going to make. Right. It's not going to sound the same. Mm -hmm. I... I I'm a lover of music. I listen to music as well. And and it, it, because of some of the work that I do, like professional work, music to me is meant to be a language. I do a lot of work in with like working like key work, support work with young people and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. So I have to impact on people and I have to touch people. Right. Sometimes yeah. I have to make sure that I can influence somebody to do something and make a decision yeah. without even me talking to them. Yeah. That I have to transcend in my music. Because I know I want to influence the, the listener that don't speak. Um, Patwa, them not speak English, mm -hmm. you understand? Maybe them they are Pakistan, but, but I'm gonna it. influence you to feel the music because yeah. it's, it's an unspoken language, language between the right. words yeah. of yeah. the music. Mm. Yeah, so the, so the delivery is always dance hall, mm -hmm. definitely. But I don't just make dance hall music. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, I'm listening to your even your EP. Because as I was listening, I was actually saying to myself, "Is this guy ever cool and calm?" Like I was listening. <laughs> do you know what I mean? And I was like, "Is this guy ever, like? Does he have any other ways where he can just be calm and you know?" And then I got into the uh, you got a girl song in there as well. You know what I mean? And then you got one that it kind of baffled me because. I saw the name of it, yeah, um, just chill or something. Just like chill, that. yeah. <laughs> and then I thought, all right, here we go. It's gonna be chilled. And then I heard it, and then it wasn't chilled, but it was there. It, it was definitely chilled. I saw it chilled song. Yeah. I saw yeah. chill song but then I was like, Netflix exactly that. Chill. Exactly Netflix that. So I was like, okay, I see what he did here with that whole chilling thing. You know what I mean? Um, so <laughs> that was very interesting to me as well. But what one thing I did like that stood out for me is. Bro, like I need you. I need to give you a new name. I'm calling you the Flow God from now on because yeah, you know, yeah. you've got like 20 different flows you know, in the one. one. So yeah, like it's like I don't know what to expect next. You know what I mean? Mm. It's like one minute we're going here, 
and the next minute you got a different flow and then you're chipping the patois then the British comes like, like you can hear the cut it's, yeah. it's mad bro it's like, amalgamation of everything yeah mm. so it's like I don't even know what genre to kind of put you in sometimes Bank because you. it's yeah. you just said that. and you know what I like that me love that because mm. I hate when especially UK artists they box themselves in nah mm. mate if you want the fans, if you want people to know you, you have to widen your scope. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, you understand? Mm-hmm. If you don't do that, you have been at the same little pan with the same little fish, them are swimming around. You understand? Uh, why it. you have yeah. to mention the fish, them? Well, well oh, why for that? Wait. But <laughs> you know what I mean. Swim yeah. around. Do you know you what? On, on, yes. on, on the topic of that, yeah, because what we're going to do, I want to I wanna touch on some topics um, with our co-host because you guys are going to be co-hosting co-host, the show yeah. with us mm-hmm, right mm-hmm. now mm-hmm. and then we're going to actually let in your wife and we're yeah, going to focus yeah. more on Jester who is Jester your journey and so forth but you guys are going to co-host the show on, I'm going to come up with a few little topics I've seen out there mm-hmm. and I'm going to just ask you guys for your thoughts and opinions on it mm-hmm. um, first topic I'm going to just direct this at you um, Coco I'm going to ask you what you think hey. of this because you mentioned <laughs> um, that particular animal in the, in, in the sea um, the fish them yeah so um, <laughs> Ramesh Entertainment has come out and he Why? Has... Don't, don't we cross bad people do good, good No, camera. don't, don't, don't. Yeah, you behave yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> people on the no, out, no, no. on the out of mini show. To me, this is on, uh, 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 on the out of yeah. mini show. Yeah, we speak English here. All right. Okay. So okay. when Sometimes. so when I speak English and I use the word come, yeah, we don't want to hear no why and no. We speak yeah. the English, we speak English language here. Yeah. No, no, no. All right. The come on. So all right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. Ramesh has appeared. Okay. Ramesh has appeared. Mm-hmm. On the internet, and he has defended um, Derek Morgan, who is a member of the LGBT community, and he has said, "Stop!" I don't even want to say the word bashing because then I gotta say why again. So he has said, "Stop um, persecuting people like Derek. Let them live their life. They don't trouble nobody." Rare, mm-hmm. rare, rare. Now, I would like to know your thoughts again in the comments. Is he right? Is he wrong? Um, I don't think there's no right or wrong answer if you ask me personally. Mm. He's also said he's going to put um, Derek Morgan in the AC Hotel. What? And um, yeah, because he said Derek deserves to live life because Derek make holy people laugh on the internet. Now, when you look, I'm not really into TikTok big and heavy, but I do know that a lot of people use Derek Morgan's sound mm. on TikTok. Mm. Yeah. And my, I'm going to give my opinion first. Me personally, I don't really care what other people choose to do with their life, yeah, as mm-hmm. long as it's not affecting me. You know what I mean? Um, I respect everybody as long as they respect me. I don't believe that people need to dead. I don't believe in any of that. I don't believe in none of that. However, it's mad because I feel like there's a lot of hypocritical things happening in the culture because they're big. And sh- it's my friend, so I can say this. Big up my friend Rebel, yeah, dancing Rebel. When she came out and said she was lesbian and she likes women, she's still in the scene. We're still lifting her up. We're still saying big up Rebel and Rebel, and rightly so, in my opinion, <laughs> yeah. But it's never ever the same energy when it's, it's not, like I, and it won't people ever that, be the same that are not so popular mm. or for men. And I don't think it's ever going to be the same energy because mm. there's a higher tolerance for women than there is for men. One yeah. hundred percent. There's no going around it. Yeah. Mm. Um. Is it hypocritical? Are you in agreement with with um, agreement with Ramesh? Um, do you not want to comment? What's your thoughts on me it? personally? Google. I don't really care. I don't, I don't really care whether you want to be whatever rainbow, sunshine, cloud, bird, tree, <laughs> cloud, whatever cold, you want to recon- identify yeah. yourself as, whatever you want to do, that's your life. However, I do feel like people use TikTok to to um. What's that word I'm looking for? I'm trying to not to use words. Choose scrouge. your words carefully. Yeah, I'm trying not Coco. to use that word. There. And be but, politically correct. Oh, <laughs> use other people on TikTok. And I don't like that. Yeah. Derek is somebody that's received help from numerous people. And you ain't done nothing productive with it. You get okay. me? Man just like for buy pork and rice and peas. That's it. Okay. So yes, Ramesh is helping him. If you want to help him, help him do whatever you want to do. But don't take somebody's kindness for weakness. You understand? So here's my thing. I'm not even going to bring the man into this conversation right now. This is this is a, this is between myself and yourself, Coco. But here's my thing to what you just said. Mm. Yes, you're saying Derek hasn't done anything with it, but has anyone stopped to think that a man may have MH mental health? So so, so the way I, I can look at it on the other side, he he doesn't appear to be someone of sound mind, in my opinion. Yeah. So people can, people can also say, all right then. People are using him for clout and they're giving him this because they want to elevate their own self. Yeah. So how do you expect a man that has mental health 
to now go and do something productive or what yeah, people but, are giving him. All right, let's put fun on joke aside. We all have mental health. We all suffer with something. To a certain degree, you yes. You understand? Some certain degree. We, yes, to a certain degree. Yes. We all suffer with something. Yes. My point is, don't take people's kindness for weakness. You're going to get their help. Okay, cool. Use it to better your life, innit? But what if he can't? What if he no, don't have no skills? Can't. To... There's no can't. There is because no. certain people, certain people, Mm-mm. certain people, right? They Mm-mm. don't have they don't have the mindset to be able to can do that. There's certain people out there that have some. They're so mentally gone. They don't have the mindset to do that. Yeah, That's I hear that. I hear that. But no. All right, cool. So there <laughs> no. you have it, guys. You guys can leave in the comment what you guys think. Me personally, I I I just feel like if someone is appearing to not be of like sound mind, how can we expect better of them? We can't. Like we, we would be mad ourselves, in my opinion. To that's, be fair, that's him, just me. him looks sound to me. He don't look like there's <laughs> no wrong with him. The man just look like he want he want free handout. And that is just some people in life. And I'm fair not enough. trying to be horrible. I'm just saying yeah. it for what it is. No, some people, people like that in exist, life yeah, right? would use other people for what they can get. You understand? Fair I enough. wouldn't even stop that. Fair enough. Stop taking people's kindness for weakness. All right, but yeah, big up yourself, get Derek. Um <laughs> use the, the help to better your life and that's the next thing as well he's always getting help so if it was a one-time thing and you don't get you don't use it i could understand when more than one people two three four five six people is helping you out and you still not better your life brother sit down okay that part i can agree on if if, yeah. you, if you're trying to help a man and a man is not helping himself you should stop there's no point in giving him no more help because yeah. a man is not helping himself and we can't help nobody that don't want to help themselves so that part there i agree with you there. Right, true. all right cool moving on to the next topic um, we saw. Uh, I'm gonna introduce the mandem into this mm-hmm. into this one now because this is a bit, a bit, a bit crazy. Two things happened recently in Jamaica. The first thing was I'm gonna let you guys know. Um, they delivered the wrong body to a funeral in Jamaica. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, they delivered the wrong body to a funeral. Um, when they lifted up the um casket, they saw that it was not their loved one. Um, when something like that happens, it can't be undone. Um, Coco also saw where somebody was cremated when they should have been buried. It was too late. They, they'd already been cremated. Um, this happened in Jamaica. The, we heard that the family are now looking um, to try and sue. But again, have you guys any, ever come across any case like that? Have you ever heard of anything like that? I'm going to start off with Epic. That's, Never. That's, no. that's the first. Yeah, that's yeah. the first. Uh, yeah. um, Jester, you ever come across anything like that? No, I've never heard of nothing. That's the first for me as well. Yeah. But I, I, I would suppose that that family is very, very, very angry. Yeah. Angry. Especially just, if, yeah. if if you're trying to bury your loved one. Yeah. So you will know, say, there's a vision for that already. When yeah. you, you're done, pick out your gravestone, your headstone, what kind of flowers you want. You understand? Yeah, yeah. And your pl- and then your 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 family member gets burned up in ashes. Yeah, yeah. You Crazy. understand? And you can't un un mm. ash. You can't, you can't, you can't that, that's a life. No, yeah. that's a life. You, there's not. Listen, you're only living with with the regrets solely. You understand, yeah. and that something's gone wrong. There is no way to rectify that situation. Okay, that was going to be my next question. Is, there any, is there any way to rectify? Okay, no, 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 no. You can't. You can't. You yeah. can't. No. You're just damaged. What somebody's got to live with for the rest of yeah, their man. life. Right. Yeah. They have to live with that for because the, they're alive. That person's yeah. dead. But I'm alive. I've got to yeah. live with live that for the rest of my life. Yeah. And there's no sense of closure as well. Yeah. At the very least, should the funeral home be shut? down did should it go that far that's wicked it... wicked um you, you know what jamaica DX? is the thing where lawsuit exists but the process is so long is it even mm, yeah. worth a lawsuit is it worth them going out of business like is it really worth it mm. you know, i shutdown, understand yeah. that i yeah. understand that you're grieving and that and you mm. know really and truly i, I, I don't even know how you rectify that yeah what like how do you yeah the next person that passed away we're gonna do something <laughs> like yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. like yeah. The memory is stuck with that person. That's yeah. yeah, that's it. So, yeah, man. It's, it's, yeah. Uh, but I mean, I feel you say if you could have shut down, even if even if you did shut down the, the, the parlor, no, how much other people you're hurting by doing that? There's people that work there, you know? So yeah. mm-hmm. it, it's a mistake and then you have to give the person who made that mistake should be held, held accountable. Yeah. But you know, Jamaica State, that, that probably turning out somebody all dead. You yeah. understand? Yeah, yeah. That, yeah stupid mm-hmm. wickedness, yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, we we next have um, on the topics list what's happening right now. I don't know if you're familiar with an artist called Young Philly, a YouTuber, mm. rapper. Oh, um, God. We, seen it, I just, yeah. Before I get into the topic, I just want to say we have to be very careful what we mm-hmm. say, me personally, because we just don't know the facts. Um, and I find that social media are too quick to um, condemn people without knowing the facts. And then when it comes out that maybe even maybe the girl was lying or whatever, it's too late because you've already ruined the man's life. Um, and in my opinion, I'm going to start it off. I just feel like whether he's guilty or not guilty, I feel like he's kind of ruined now because it's such a stain. Mm-hmm. It's such a stain on his name. Yeah. It's like, how do you, you know, come back from that? Um, the question I'm going to put to you, Jester, is 
um, well, I don't know if it's happened to you, but have you ever been falsely accused of anything um, or the whole Philly situation? Do you think it could be a false accusation thing or do you think it's not looking good for him? I don't think, it don't, listen, with me, it don't look, I've never been accused of nothing like that before, yeah. no. For, for him, that is not good for him. Yeah. With, regardless, as you just said, if it come out, say the girl is lying, mm -hmm. yeah? Because even if the woman is lying, you see, he just lost all of his deals from yeah, Adidas and Marks yeah. and Spencer's. Oh, he's lost yeah. them now, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's, he's lost them, yeah. 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 That. So, so that means, as you say, everybody's sealing his judgment mm. even before him going in front of a judge. Yeah. So right now, what I'm going to say, there's not really no, come, there's a comeback for him. It, that it's a pain, you've got to go through a pain barrier now. Mm. You understand? Because a lot of people might not even want to work with him because yeah. of this. Even yeah. if he come out even innocent. Even if he yes, yes. come out innocent, you yes. know what? Yeah, let's stay away from him because yeah. of what, what's been attached to him. Yeah. And you have to get through all of that blue over. That that that, that there, I think that's wickedness. If if him if him do it, if him do it, you understand? We know we know we say but you yeah. understand yeah. what should happen there. But if, if a man is innocent, that's wicked, man. You know, because man have, man have mother, you know, man have mother, man have father, and them, them have family. So when you when you start slate somebody without actual proof, you're doing this to their family as well. Right. Yeah, but them family have to walk down the road. So me mm -hmm. I say, I'm not defending nothing. Yeah. I mean I defend. I mean yeah. I say him should yeah, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, me yeah, I say, yeah. I don't know the facts. I'm yeah. going just from looking. I'm say, boy, I wouldn't yeah. even oh, I wouldn't be one of those people to point a finger when and the big finger point yeah. finger. You, mm. yeah, you don't even know nothing. Yes. How we look on it to Chester like. The times, all right, say this happened years ago when it's just a newspaper article. We know how they do it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The article, when the accusation come up, would be a massive headline front page. Mm -hmm. And you know, normally when they get something wrong, they put it on like the third page yeah, with small, a small, small apology. Print, yeah. Yeah. And that's newspaper. Yeah. yeah. But how much people saw the headline mm -hmm. and how much people see the see, apology. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know we live in a time of the internet where everybody's running with yeah. what the headline, I mean, and when they say more info, clip for all the, the, the rest of the stories on our website, how much people actually go there? They're going to yeah. go with the artwork mm, yeah, or whatever scroll, picture yeah. on the Instagram the page or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then the footprint that's left on the internet, if it even later on technicality, whatever it is, or the man goes through the, the legal procedure there and the, it's found that there's nothing of substance there, the footprints there, there's about... Probably 90% of who saw the headline don't even know what the outcome is later on. Mm, yeah. You understand? So, yeah, that's, that, that's, that's a sad thing that comes out of them things more, most of the time. And I mean, I think we were talking about it before we even went live, you know, like that journey for him. Australia is not a close oh, place. Mm. That's a lot of thinking, a lot of, really? you know, making yeah. that journey. So... I just hope like the people he has around him is you know his friends his peers his team and whatever I I hope he can get whatever support he he can get to mm. go through whatever system now whatever comes out of that whatever at the end of the day whatever process comes out whether mm. it goes good or bad or whatever I just hope that it's a scenario where all parties can get their closures from mm. it and hopefully they can move on and and, yeah, and, and yeah. start the healing process. Yeah, man. Coco, what's your thoughts on it? You know, some honestly what I cry? God, no. Why? You must stress Jesus. out. Mm -hmm. We see it so many times now, man. Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh, <laughs> I'm hoping, I am really, really hoping that um, it's not true. Mm -hmm. However, if it is true, you've got to take accountability for your actions. Yes. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I feel like a lot of time when it comes to our community, I'm black, so I'm going to speak for me and my black people. Then when it comes to our community, we get so frightened or so hyped up or so um, we just don't use our brains, you know? And sometimes we feel like money is everything and money can get, off our, get us out of certain situations. It cannot. Mm -hmm. That's just the real and the real of it. Um, the higher we, the higher you climb on the ladder, on, on the ladder, <laughs> the higher you climb on the ladder, you have to be humble. You have yeah. to have people around you that's gonna tell you the truth and that's gonna keep you grounded. Mm -hmm. If you have a bag of yes man and yes guy around you, you're gonna find yourself in predicaments like this. I'm hoping it's not true. I'm hoping he has his, his family at least his family there with him. Because really and truly, man can't fly out, innit? Yeah, <laughs> man can't fly, man can't You got bail, by the way, you got bail, but... Yeah, but out, yeah. being bailed is, is, is still not enough. So I really do hope he has some family there. And to the people that are on social media that's ex executing, I saw... Ex <laughs> yeah, the, the people, people on the, the, the internet ones. casting judgment, yeah. you like need to cut it out. Yeah. Cut it out. 
No man is perfect. Yeah, well, yes, we know that these things happen, but don't judge somebody before you know the full facts of the story. Mm -hmm. And that's just what all, all I got to say. But yeah, yeah I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a Philly fan still. Yeah, that's 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 a great closing um, speech on it because that's just really what it comes down to. Don't condemn, and it goes both ways because we tend to mm. because you just said you're a Philly fan or because we yeah. know Philly, we're kind of like, oh no, he couldn't have done it, Rere, but what yeah. if he did? And then we all, you're kind of like disregarding the victim mm. and her, you know what I mean? So yeah. it goes it goes both ways. Yeah. You get what I'm trying to say to you? And not because, oh, because I'm a Philly fan, it's because, oh my God, yeah, he didn't do it. Because I've seen that. I've seen people mm. say, oh my God, he's too peng, he didn't do it. Like, what? Yeah, no, nah, I, I, I can't say never did. You were, like, None of us was there, do you know what I mean? Exactly. If so. this thing did happen and, you know, my condolences, um, empathy, it's empathy, yeah, empathy goes yeah. out to the... um. The, victim. the victims, but yeah, yeah. If, if if they if, are a victim, because I don't, that's another if. thing. Because he could be the victim, you know what I mean? People, exactly, people that's are quick thing as well. Yeah, yeah. 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 he could be the victim. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 People are too quick to say, "Oh, yeah. what, what yeah. about the victim? What about the victim? Yeah. What if he's the victim?" Remember years ago, even now they still do with some of the footballers. They claim to do this. Yeah, they're claiming the essay. They're claiming the R. When really. When police do their investigation, not on a gossip. Uh, exactly. So we and can't cast judgment on people. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And it's a triggering topic for me because I can even share the story. Like I'm 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 living testimony of mm -hmm. something, not the same, but something very similar. Yeah. Very, very similar. <laughs> where I had a, a a young female stalking me, even lie to me about her age, tell me she was 25, she was only 18 at the time. Mm -hmm. Luckily, she was only 18. And I'm I'm saying to this girl, Look, I don't want to be with you, I'm running her. She was too onto me, too onto me, too onto me. Even to the point where I'm I'm trying to help this girl. I ended up putting this girl in my flat because I don't stay in my flat I used to live with my grandmother mm. when I was young and growing up them time there and I said go stay in my house she, she tell a lie tell me her mother kick her out I said you can't stay on the streets all type of lie but she was doing that because I kept running her and mm. she had managed to manipulate me so when she said she got kick out now that's when I felt sorry for her and said go and yeah. stay in my flat the mm. put, I put her in my flat my phone notes don't ring. Style ain't you coming to stay? I said, no, I live with my grandmother. Remember, I'm a little youth growing up them time. I'm saying, no, I live with my grandmother. You stay in the flat. Oh, I thought you was going to come and stay. Crunch comes to crunch. When I go to the house, I'm seeing parcel for, um, what name? Pretty little thing. I'm in an order from pretty little thing. I said, oh, what, what is this? Yeah, parcels. And I'm like, what's this? Like, what's this? And what's my she said, and remember, she said, yeah, she said, she said oh, bro, yeah. like, I, 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 I'm healed from, so I can talk about this story now. Yeah. You get me? I'm healed. I've never come online and spoke about the story, but I'm saying, what's this? And she's telling me she got no money. She got no this. And I'm giving her like, like a 20 pound here to get a look of shopping insane because it's my friend. I'm looking yeah. at it as my, as my friend. Mm. And that's and, the thing. And that's can't... the thing. And then I went going there and I see him bear pass. I said, so where are all these parcels come from now? She ordered them. So I said, how? You don't have money. I'm giving. She said, oh, I it got to the point where I said, if you order them, show me a bank statement. And I'm saying to show your bank statement. Do you know this girl was recording me telling her to show me her bank statement? Recording me like on her phone and sending those voice that's notes to her mom, mm -hmm. to her mother. Mm -hmm. The mom, you know, old person whisper yeah, yeah. from far, yeah. right? Mm. Sorry for my god, yeah. 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 she's yeah. sending yeah. these voices yeah. to yeah. her yeah. mom, you know. It, yeah, ultimately, <laughs> she then pull her phone and it, which we kept down to the crunch, she never ordered nothing. Her ex boyfriend, who she said was abusive and beat her up and mm. rare, 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 yeah. Mm. Her ex boyfriend was ordering those stuff to my, I never even had never heard of this, them type deeds. Deeds. Yeah, these man, plastic. He was that's using all about deeds. to say. I use plastic and yeah, your, your, your so house. Basically, he's what? using stolen yeah, credit card yeah, yeah, that's it, and send it to my yeah, address. Plastic. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, so what? what? Yeah, yeah, that yeah, epic, epic, epic. That was me. Yeah, yeah, you was your man. Bro, so that was me. So I'm like, what? You understand what I'm saying? Too? The, what is this? A stolen credit card. Mm -hmm. They're ordering things to my address. So anything goes down, it's me that's getting in problem. That's it. That's it. Yeah, so I said, I said like, crazy. I was doing, you know, the stuff was in my head. Them girl, I was saying, they're wicked. I said to her, I said to her, you need to go. You need to get out of my house. Oh my God. Problem. Start crying. She just start bar. She run in the bathroom. She lock herself in the mm. bathroom. Yeah, but, and she have, and, and she, she cardio. And she's recording. She cardio. Yeah, and man. she's saying, mm. "Mom, mom, he's attacking me. He's this." So, and and I, I don't know. If she recording. I'm saying, "Come on, my house. I'm banging mm. on the door." Yeah, I said, "Come on, yeah, yeah, That's yeah, what I'm saying, yeah. mm. bro. Before I knew it, now I said, "If you don't come out, I'm gonna call the police to put you out." So I called the police. I said, "You need to come and get this girl, you know, because I don't want to put my hand on her, mm -hmm. and you need to come and you know." And I said it loud until the, mm. the they can hear mm -hmm. it. When police come now, I'm feeling good now. Police, so I said, "Yeah, she's in there." They said, oh, we've been called for a disturbance. I said, yeah, that was me. No, it wasn't me. Mm -hmm. She had called them before, before me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Not even she, the mother had called them mm -hmm. from where the mother was. And they came and they, they separate us. They took me in the bathroom and put her in my front room. And I'm just thinking, yeah, look at things. I said to them, look, it's no big deal. I just want to go. Yes, yeah, so my conversation took two minutes. 45 minutes later, she's still in there with them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they come, come back out. Mm. 
you know, you know, us black people, when we, well, Epic, you might not know this. You might, you, you might get where. But when we brush our hair, mm-hmm. yeah, <laughs> sorry, Epic, when we brush our hair, <laughs> sometimes the hair come out in the brush, mm. yeah, because that's how our hair is. You know, they pick up hair in the corner of the room and said, we're arresting you for assault because you, you grab her by her hair and we have the evidence here in the bag. You drag, you drag her by her hair around the house. Now, hear what saved me. <laughs> this what saved me. That's why I don't cuss wig. She had on a wig. And mm-hmm. that's what saved me. Mm-hmm. Because when I said to them, I said, if I was to drag her by her hair, the wig would, the wig would come off. And it wasn't one of those wigs that you put with the glue. It's the hat one then where you could take off like a hat and put on like a hat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I said, it would come off. So how could I possibly drag her around the house with, you know that's what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I said, furthermore, that's my hair. That you, that's is my hair because mm-hmm. I know my hair. <laughs> my hair is curly and her hair. Was, you understand? Mm. I said that's my hair. I said furthermore, under that wig she don't have no hair. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I, I told, I told, yeah, no, I told them all of this. <laughs> yeah. I told them all of this, bro. Yeah. And you know, I got a day arrested me for it. She came to the station that day. Remember, I'm getting arrested from my home. Mm-hmm. I've never been arrested in my life. This is the first time. She came to the station and that same day and said she was lying. Her mum put her up to it and she wants to take back the thing. But because it was domestic, the domestic, yeah, they yeah. said that she can't do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And do you know they followed this thing through? Had me on bail like some idiot for how many, two years or this this thing went on for. Because it went on so long because I kept saying to them, you guys are making a big mistake. Look at my phone, take her phone. You're going to see where I've been helping her. I've been encouraging her. I've been this, I've been that. Hmm. Everything she's telling you is a lie and I can prove it in my phone. Do you know what they did? They said, well, you can have your day in court. So all right then, mm. cool, no problem. Remember, they already, in their mind, I'm guilty, you know. They already condemned me. No problem. We're asking them for her to give in her phone. The girl is not giving in her phone. She keeps refusing. So it keeps getting adjourned. Every time it gets adjourned. Every time we go to the court for bail, it gets adjourned because she hasn't handed her phone in. Anyway, so said, so done. She went and made a further ac- accusation on top of the assault, which she said happened, and said, oh, by the way, he graped me. Yeah, she, she add on that on top of it, all right? Now, this is what saved me again. She said that I graped her. In August 2018, August the 7th. I'm so lucky that year. I was. She said it happened in my home. I was in Sunfest. You know Epica, you know. Like, yo, them I'm just there, I'm just you know, really, yeah. mm. I was in Reggae Sunfest that year. I was in Jamaica. I wasn't even in the country. Mm. So when, when, I, when I showed them my passport and so forth, the judge himself at the court, because at this point, when she had on the grape, they never charged me because I had no evidence. So what happened is they questioned me for it and released me for it. Then I had a choice now. I said, I want this to go to, not magistrates, I want this to go to Crown. Yeah. And she said, no, no, we want to do magistrate. I said, no, 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 we're going to have a jury. We're not, mm. we're not going to no magistrate with no um, yeah, tree like a yeah. housewife that yeah. is bored and mm-hmm. is sitting on panel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're going with p- proper Q- Queen's Council, you mm-hmm. know, judge and jury. So when, when we did that now, when I went there, bro, I didn't even need to give my evidence. She, gave, she went on the stand. She gave her evidence. The judge ran her out the room and said, excuse me, you need to leave. She said, no, I haven't finished yet. The judge says, you need to leave. Because she was giving her accounts, but her accounts was not matching to what her statements were saying. Say, yeah. And Burgery. he was just trying to bring her back to what the statements were saying. And she was forgetting. She forgot this date. And she forgot. And she's like, I haven't finished it. And he said, no. he said, you said enough. And he said, that was it. And he said, you need to leave. He, she left the room. And I'm sitting in the dock, you know. I'm on bail. I'm sitting in the dock. And I'm like this. And the judge turned to the CPS. And he said to them, why do we have this young man sitting in the dock for this You've brought him here on assault and rare, rare, but she hasn't even spoken about the assault. I'm trying to speak to her about the assault, but she hasn't even mentioned it. You know what I'm saying? And the Crown Prosecution were very embarrassed. They then spoke with my barrister. They were conferring with each other. The judge says, I have no option but to throw this out because there's no evidence here. Mm. Then my barrister said, no, we're not throwing it out just yet. We want, we want to show our evidence. We gave our evidence of, we, we, we got her phone download. She gave her phone that day. In the downloads, bro, we saw the texts between her and her, her mum. Her, mother. her mum was up, telling her, mm. voice note this, record. Bro, mm-hmm. everything was there, bro. Mm-hmm. Two, of the have, two of them should have got charged. Mm. Everything was there, bro. And let me tell you this, yeah. yeah While this all happened, I've never spoke this story. This is an exclusive. I've never spoke this story yeah, on no public platform. While this was all happening, yeah, bro. Remember, this went on for two years. Bro, some of my colleagues, them, they dashed me where they, they were condemning me in group chats. Oh, did you hear about Styler? And da, 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 da. Styler, 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 bro. Afterwards, when it came out, when she was lying and got um, thrown out, whatever, they hear them now. Oh, bro, I knew, I knew she was lying. I knew everybody. Mm. You understand know what I'm saying mm. to you, bro? Mm. But, and, and I had to keep holding mm. my head high 
and just keep mm. working and still elevate and come back from that. And luckily for me, I did it. Yeah. But that goes to my character because people know me. But bro, that was one of the worst times of my life, bro. Because yeah, yeah. I cause I know I didn't do nothing. And I'm thinking, when I go out, I'm like, how are people going to be viewing me? What are they going to be saying? Ray, Ray, Ray. And I said, now that girl, can't hear from her. Never heard her or seen from her ever again. You know, I came mm. through that. But bro, that was a tough time for me. So mm. I know, and I'm just like little old styler. Him, he's big old YouTuber, big old rap. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I know and I can only imagine mm -hmm. if he's being set up, how it could be. That's why I'm not too quick to be talking about victim because in that situation, me, I was the victim, bro. Victim, that's right, I was that's the right, victim. Yeah. You know, and, and really and truthfully, something should have happened to her and her mother and it didn't. They were yeah. just told to leave. They, they were, I could, if I wanted to pursue it, they could have got charged for perjury because mm -hmm. they lied. They could have got charged for um, even false imprisonment because they, they, they had me arrested and holding me and talking about I'm on, not getting no bail and rare, 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 rare I went mm -hmm. through the most. You understand? Yeah, so it was it was rough, man. So I, I just want to say, if it is not true, my heart goes out to Young Philly. If it is, as Coco said, the final thing I will say is just you have to take accountability. I know, you know? you're the host, but just really would want to ask. Like, yeah, man. Go, you got, you when these things it. happen and somebody has to go through the due process of you know, we get into the truth. I always have to ask, like, I know people feel that relief when, when, when it, you know, the truth comes out. Mm -hmm. But then when you look at the cast of what it, it comes to, mm -hmm. look, I'm looking at Young yeah. Philly. Mm -hmm. um, let's just say he would be doing his podcast, he'd be making, doing appearances, whatever, mm -hmm. to make his money. All that time now, you're gone to Australia, documents surrendered, can't be making money. Mm -hmm. There's probably some other things a part of his bill that he's, you know, limited yeah. in terms of what right. he can do. Even when they come out, let, let's just say hypothetically, they say, okay, there's no case here. You can go back. You don't get that back. No. How I look on, you don't get yeah. back that time. Mm -hmm. You don't get back all of them things you could have mm -hmm. been doing. So I always think, you know, even when you do clear your name, and yes, it's a relief and whatever, does he, you know, the cost for it, I don't, do you think it's not unfair in the sense that okay, it costs money? The mm -hmm. legal fees ain't cheap. And it, I don't yeah. know of nobody that says, oh, yeah, yeah, I went through this process and I got back all the money mm -hmm. that I paid for lawyers, all the. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Luckily for me, I didn't lose money. I'm very, oh, okay. I'm very fortunate. Okay. Um, and luckily for me, again, the huge, the big thing with me is I never was charged. That was the okay. greatest thing with me. Yeah. yeah whereas um, I was charged for assault. You yeah. understand? But I wasn't charged for the other charge which he tried to put onto me, which is very, I'm very lucky for that. Whereas young Philly, he's been charged, unfortunately. And, and in to a be, different country. To be charged, mm. usually, <laughs> usually when you're charged, it means they have some kind well, of significant evidence. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Usually mm -hmm. it does mean that. So that's why I said it's not looking good. Mm -hmm. There was no way they could charge me. They don't have any evidence. First of all, the time she said it happened, I wasn't even in the country. That's already a yeah. problem. But because they were so hell bent, on just trying to get me, just mm. we're gonna get him. They messed up. They what mm. they did is they put me on something called um released under investigation. Mm -hmm. So it's not a charge, but it's not you're not free as like such. a caution. So mm -hmm. yeah. not it's mm -hmm. like how can I explain it? It's like an NFA, it's like a no it's further like a, action until further evidence. Yeah, that's is, it. There you go. He, yeah, he just put it. So basically, yeah, it's NFA. Because you know what it is, yeah. All right, you see smart. You see when the police, yeah, they don't want to just let you go, they don't want to NFA you. So what they want to do, your your NFA. But at any time, if they get evidence, they bring can you bring you back yeah. in. That's but right. you're never going to get right. that with me because it doesn't exist. But they yeah. didn't want to admit that. They didn't want to just say NFAM. So they mm -hmm. said, we're going to release you on the investigation. You're not charged. You're not this. There's no conditions or nothing. But at any moment in time, we can bring you back. So I'm just waiting for them to get the evidence because they can't. It's impossible. Yeah. I wasn't even yeah. in the country. You mm -hmm. get me? It didn't even take place. So... It, it can't you can't get no evidence to you. So I was very cocky. I was very brazen. I was very no. I was. I was yeah, very you know, brawling because yeah, you know I know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. Even my grandmother came down to the station with me. But poor little grandma. She's like, this is stupid. This like it was so. <laughs> they got grand grand. Yeah, they got grand grand. You know what I say? It was so. It was that them bits there. So luckily for me, I didn't waste money. Okay. Um, and I feel like I would have wasted money if I pursued it because I would have had to have gone down the civil route, um, with her and. If she ain't got no money to pay me, why am I suing her? Doesn't yeah, make no yeah, sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've gone through recently again with some other idiot online. I know you can't stand her. She ain't got no money. Like I've <laughs> been, we went to court. I've been in the court. I've heard her say, oh, I'm broke. I don't have nothing. So why am I going to, like, why am I pursuing it? You have nothing to give me. And I'll let you guys know this. I'll ask you a question. It costs 20 grand on average to sue somebody. That's, that's yeah. the average cost. Yeah. 20,000 mm -hmm. pounds. Mm -hmm. 
no, you can't really get it less than that. So why yeah. am I suing you? If you don't have 20K to give me, what am I doing? <laughs> yeah, just for, yeah. And that's yeah. what I'm saying to you. So, yeah. So what we yeah, that's so, still suing you. You've been working for the rest of your life and why am I trying to think about it? That's even sucks. Yeah, yeah. I understand. That's even why I'm making it. You're asleep, you're asleep, you're asleep. No, I just wanted my vindication and, you know, for the girl to come out and say, you know, she was lying. It was proven. And the greatest thing is when you go to court, people in the UK, and it's um, it's like a crown court or whatever it's public it's public mm -hmm. records you can't mm -hmm. hide nothing so that my my head was hell high you understand yeah. what i'm saying to you yeah. and i didn't even get a chance to give my evidence it was already thrown out before mm. how can you go on the deck or the dock rather to give evidence and you yourself shot your own self you went to give evidence mm -hmm. you know, against me mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. on the back of your evidence case yeah. gone mm -hmm. oh that makes sense mm -hmm. i've never heard of that straight lies saying. straight yeah. lies yeah so uh, but, but, but but me don't know is there something in the law that 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 like so you can, so these women can be prosecuted after that, you've done right. something like this to a man can't watch this unfortunately that's the definition of my yeah. character but what land there what about the mental what about the mental depression as you said man's got oh look he's as known star now we know yeah. So everybody know him face. You know how that yeah. feels for a man to be thinking everybody's looking yeah. at me and I call me a grip. You understand what I mean? The news has gone so, everywhere. It's so, everywhere. Like, 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 it's something to be looked into. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Them, no, them, that is a crime. That is a crime. Exactly. So, me I say, and, and this is why, why I say, yeah, this world is a jungle. This is why I love Jamaica. Because you see, in Jamaica, yeah, um, the justice is as such depending on what's really happening because mm. there's some things in Jamaica, yeah? Mm -hmm. If you're the, too, too much more near down in a town and which when you're going up in the hill, there's certain mm -hmm. things that is not happening, you understand? Mm -hmm. Be, because justice is real justice, mm -hmm. you see me? So, I, 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 you see, I think things like this, they use these things to blur the lines, you understand? Because mm -hmm. I think most of the people at the top, they deal mm -hmm. with the whole of them something, you mm -hmm. understand? Mm -hmm. So they like to blur the lines for us people, especially people in the public eye, because when when they get seen to do these things, they, they it needs to be swept under the carpet. Right. Yeah, and nothing right. needs to happen to that's them, right. you yeah. understand? That's and that's why. why. But also, you need to keep a kind of narrative that, you know, like when you said before, like, um, no, man, him couldn't do that because mm. I'm IG that, and you wouldn't expect him to do it. But if it did come out that it was true, it, we all have to look inside of ourselves now and say, yo, you can't just look at anybody and say that no, you know where them are going to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But at yeah. the same time, they do try to push this narrative like, you yeah. know what, mm -hmm. them, them kind of people, yeah, them now, yeah. do them something there, you know. Yeah, yeah. You have Dutch Avelli, you, you have the other one there. With, <laughs> with, with, with the dude. Ba -na -na -na. Me, me don't know if that's true either. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, that's true. But yeah, I'm just saying the yeah. names. Yeah, 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 but yeah, 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 a, a group of uh, um, young black musicians who, yeah, or like reality stars when they get like to somewhere yeah. Yeah. It's, it's that, like a, that highlight yeah, this narrative yeah, yeah. that it's they true, do this it's true but, 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 but real, the real narrative though which we know that a lot of people that's actually doing this in it's Philip Schofield and all of them people yeah, yes. it gets swept under the rug yes. so yeah, they, have, they, they yeah, know what they true. try to highlight for certain reasons yeah. that, so they highlight got, it for a reason a new TV show now isn't it after yeah, all it's coming because you don't highlight it for everybody that's doing it but you highlight it on certain people and imagine and, and you know what's funny what, what you said about that yeah this is why i always say the sentencing or the what, sentencing yeah or mm. whatever they do to them the, the reason why i always say they're so lenient is because the people that keep up with these things is those persons up there they're and doing when this them stuff get catch them no one if you're being exactly. a punishment so they, so they kind of mm. dump, dim it down a bit you get so yeah my bro but they, they, they will highlight they will highlight like you understand yeah. a young black man yes. because yeah. they want the narrative so, oh, yes. when, when, yeah. so before even the evidence come out you should think you know what he's done he's it. done it yeah, yeah. you yeah. understand yeah. 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 other people you can question and say no but he's a professional like this and that we need one. to find the evidence yeah. he's not like it's, that yeah. it's also he's, he's going through the pressure he's going through the pressure yeah. but it's also the type that come on I'm not saying that there aren't cases that are brought forward for other things, yeah? Mm -hmm. But look at the types that are reported. Yeah. Like for the ones that are associated with black personnel in entertainment, it tends to be aggressive. Yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It tends to be something about the physical price. I mean, just when they talk about sports personnel, they'll talk about personnel from different backgrounds as being IQs, very good, mm -hmm. technical. Mm -hmm. But when it's a uh, black sports person, it's about their strength and yeah, their, yeah. their physical yeah. prowess. Beat the beast and, yeah. and it's the same thing when there's certain crimes against what the black entertainers. It tends to be the aggressive types mm -hmm. that, they, that they're up for. If you look at when counterparts from different backgrounds are brought forward for any you know, indiscretions in terms of against you know, sexual, sexual They're crimes. Right, they get a slap on the wrist. It, it, no, it's not even that. 
just it's abuse of power. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. abuse but, of but power. Not physical power right. we're yeah. talking about. We're yeah. talking about your role in terms mm-hmm. of the hierarchy in the company. So it's then still coming as a psychological and a physical thing. I didn't yeah. physically do this yeah. to you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, basically, I'm a director here or I'm the producer of the show. And because you're the assistant here, that so then it's still yeah. a thing where we're not aggressive when we're doing it. Um, I kind of coerced you in yeah. terms of words mm. or whatever. So you see, you yeah, see where I'm coming from. There. So yeah, 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 that's it, that's it. Some that's of the times when these things do come up, as I said, it's not like all of them aren't bad, but it's also the the, the ones that they put forward or go forward with or, or, that are released to the media. And we only can comment on the ones that come forward. We can't talk about the ones that don't come forward. Yeah. Yeah. But the ones that tend to make the public just look at most of the times what has happened. Like there's certain that is shown to show aggression and there's others that are try, kind of show yeah. like oh it's a it's a psychological battle of yeah. you know i'm in this position and you want to get here and that's what happened and i manipulated you and yeah, yeah. yeah. oh him, him should yeah, have that. He, you know what i mean him weak mm. him is a manipulator so but when I'm you like, mentioned yeah, yeah. why it gets swept under the carpet mm. is because the next person that probably was in power can most time looking for empathy they're thinking i mean like in philip Schofield here I mean, this is a person that when everything was coming out, done interviews, cried, mm. and then there was a bit of empathy. Oh, yeah, he must yeah, have been going through so much. Yeah, his yeah, wife yeah. went through this, his kids and whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when it's the next one, when there's aggression and it's, you know, what's been reported about is you being physical. We could talk about football recently, me and some Greenwood. Like, <laughs> there wasn't, because it, it involves physical aggression, there's not that type of empathy. Because yeah, you're yeah, thinking, yeah. you just physically did something to somebody that was unable to defend mm-hmm, themselves. Mm-hmm, yeah. mm-hmm. When it's psychological, we don't like have that monster. type of... Yeah, it's like a, it's a, a, exactly. Yeah, it's a yeah. big conversation and it's one that needs to be explored. And, and you, you guys all made some very good points, man. And you used the word coerce just a little while ago. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I just wanted to bring a little bit more context into my story because this could help somebody out there. They could, yeah. there's, there's definitely people out there that are probably going through what I may have gone yeah. through. You never know. And I just wanted to say, just drop this gem with you guys. Like, with me, because she had accused me of assault... That is not um, a strong enough crime to go to a crown court. It only holds six months uh, sentence, mm. which means it has to go to a magistrate. However, what the girl done is, as Jester said before, wicked girl. Like, what she did, she kept on adding on more lies and more lies. And I feel like it's not just her. I feel like the police were involved in it as well, because I can imagine the police to be like, is there anything more in is it? Because I, yeah. I could just imagine them to be pushing her and probing her. Mm-hmm. And... When they came back to me while I was on bail for this six months for this um, assault, they came to me and they said, oh, we're going to be further arresting you for coercive and controlling behaviour. And at the time, I didn't know what that was. Like, I remember, I've never been arrested in my life. I don't have no criminal record. I know nothing to do with the law. So I'm not familiar with these kind of things. So I'm thinking, what's this now? And I've said to my barrister, what is um, co- controlling? What is that coercive? And he said, it's a brand new law. And he said, it's very new. And he said, it's like a gray area. Um, it's not, it says it's very hard to prove, but this is what they've gone for. Hmm. And I said, how long, like, what's the sentence in for this? He says, it's two years. Yeah, you can get two years. That's the starting point. Mm-hmm. But, and I was like, what? So I was proper angry. He was like, no, you need to smile. I was like, what am I smiling for? And he was like, this is good because now, you can go to a crown court because it carries a heavier sentence. Mm-hmm. Anything or anything from like that amount of time, you can now go to a crown court. Mm-hmm. So he said to me, we can now use this and opt to go to a crown court. And I was like, I didn't understand it. Then I got what he was getting at the whole jury thing. And rare, rare. and that was a blessing. So the, the extra lies she had told, it was a blessing for me. It made me go to a crown court, made me get a proper judge, a proper everything. And yeah. it just yeah, turned out to be a peers. blessing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So if anyone out there is going through anything like that, always opt. I know it sounds serious, like crown court. No, you want to go there. If, only if you know you're innocent though and you know you got mm. your facts straight and uh, if you know you're not innocent no matter with it <laughs> get me but if you know Please. you got your facts straight yeah. <laughs> then definitely yeah, that's gross. yeah definitely <laughs> <laughs> definitely um, opt to go to that so yeah. that's a serious topic man and it definitely needs to be explored um, um, thank you very much for you guys views we're gonna um, go to a bit more light hearted discussion just to finish off the topics which is Budja Banton has obtained his visa back from America and Canada yeah man oh, yeah, what's you guys thoughts on that You're happy for the G we said just mean, man, come on, man. Reggae yeah. music, big, you know. Yeah. You, you know, you, you know what, you know what. Really, I was really happy about. I watch um 
drink champs with no Riega in them. Mm-hmm. Um, um, but a month ago, I think, and Buju Bantan did the on that. Mm-hmm. Yo, I saw a different side to Buju Bantan. Yeah. 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 The man was like a philosopher on mm-hmm. yeah. that. You understand? And 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 and, and, and I don't, I, I've been saying this. I don't, because I'm a big Bob Marley fan. Mm-hmm. You know, even know what I mean? Every Bob Marley birthday, I will go up on my Instagram and I will sing survival album. That's my favorite album. Mm-hmm. So every Bob Marley birthday, I used to go up on my Instagram and sing every song from the survival survival album you mm-hmm. understand yeah and there is something that really upset me yeah when, when we realized yeah and I, I actually sat down me and my wife with bob marley's son rowan marley and mm-hmm. i said this to him i mean say you know say um sitting here beside bob marley's son you understand that, that's i'm looking at the man's legacy mm-hmm. i mean i say what you feel about the fact that i've heard could you be loved yeah, yeah. and another one of bob marley sang them that was watered down in a some um, like techno music, EDM electro music. Sun is yeah. shining. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Ooh, no, 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 boom, 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 boom. Could you be loved? <laughs> Yo, something I say, all right then. All right, I get that part. Could you be loved in it? But where is the me- That song has a message in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the whole of Bob Marley sang them have a message inside of them. Yeah. So more than just you, you like the song or, or his lyrical content or whatever he's talking about, there is a message for a movement behind every one of the man them sang. I was really glad to hear Buju Banton go and drink champs and philosophize and with the way he was talking so mm-hmm. that people, when they, when he goes and puts out his album now, it's going to bring back the power to reggae because they've been trying to water down reggae. You know? I don't know if you notice in a dog. I want to hear Bob Marley's song they've remade over, you know? Yeah. And these songs are like, you, it sounds like a song from Ibiza. Jump yeah, yeah, yeah. Now mm. that song is just a song to feel good. That 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 now don't have no mm. that don't have no message inside of it. Yeah. Mm. So that is what I'm glad about Buju and him going there. So that that dance and reggae can. Let me show you something. In Canada the other day, they just took out the reggae and the the reggae part. Uh, um, um, you know, in the awards, the awards, they yeah, just yeah. took it out. The so they, they they're I trying think. to water down reggae, yeah. but at the same time sorry, watering yeah, down reggae. Yeah. I saw that. At the same time, I water down reggae, right? Yeah, yeah. So, but you're still put, you're still making reggae artists being pushed. But yeah. what kind of artist you have been pushed now? You understand? Yeah. They, they, they try to destroy all of the greatness from Mandem's legacy. You are Mike Tyson. If you go fight Jake Paul when Mike Tyson is a big old man. Let me show you something. When I was growing up, yeah, brother. So when I was growing up, I'm going to look for Mike Tyson. I'm going to say, Mike Tyson, a bad boy. Bad boy. <laughs> and when someone want to be like Mike Tyson, I'm thinking of it in a bad way. In the last 15 years, you know that Mike Tyson is this man is an educator, he's, a, he's inspiring people, and he influences people. Mm-hmm. I know you want. Yeah. Everybody's knowing Mike Tyson for that now. Only they look at you and say, What? what he's calm down now. Man? You understand? Bad boy, I want to be like him. But yeah. look, he's actually not aggressive. Mm. Yeah. So why are you destroying that for man? Why do yeah. you want to destroy that for Why yeah. do you want my name to grow up and say, What? Mike Tyson, a bad boy. But oh, look at the way he is. That means. I can I can want to be bad and not be bad on the yeah, road. Yeah, yeah. I, can, I can just want to stand up for myself without wanting to be a bad man. You understand? Yeah. And, and and this is what I'm saying. You're destroying that legacy. And then yeah, destroy Bob Marley the music. When Buju Bantan go up on that and he spoke the other day, they all sat there and listened to him. Every single word he was saying, they all just listened. Yeah. And and you know what? He kept saying. He kept saying. He goes, "I'm like this because of African reggae." Reggae music, you understand, is life. And we speak life, you understand? And mm-hmm. this is why I am. This is why I'm the way I am. It, it holds the... It, it, it makes me all the principles that I hold to. You understand? Mm-hmm. It gives you the morals that it gives you. It's a culture. The yeah. reggae music is a culture. You understand? Yeah. And it, we, we need the older, the older in there, like Buju Banton and them, for come back. Yeah, Buju have the, the telephone, me not like it. He might go give them dancers and <laughs> but he's also got the the... Songs that's gonna keep people understanding that this is reggae mm-hmm. and it comes from here, Jamaica, with its links to the Africans. Yeah, yeah in journey, in journey, as you look upon Buji, you know, you know, when he just introduced to the music was from the dance hall, dance hall side. And this is probably one of the few, but probably the best story in terms of somebody that was running dance hall and doing like at the top of his game in terms of farm as a dance hall artist. Mm-hmm. And then him just goes so and it was a little break. You know, I remember him even have a song that tell the story. Half time I tell him run the marathon, they couldn't run it. Mm-hmm. And that was him trying to tell them, said, oh, 
on in a, this thing of your long journey, but when you can't manage your long journey, yeah, yeah. they but take he, a break. He, and yeah. as, still you that, run it. as you said that, he, he said he made a point when he said that African music or the African artists is not really making songs to empower the people. And I, I have to agree with that. We mm. see lots of reggae artists pushing mm -hmm. the narrative for us, but we ain't see that in 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 Afrobeat. So, what is your what's your take on that? Uh, all right, put it this way. There's, there could be some people listening to who's in dancehall right now and saying, we don't have reggae, reggae music coming out. But if you're in the music, you know that reggae is coming out. Does it have the money behind it that it used to have? Mm. No. So then from the outside, if you are uh, Afrobeats or you're, uh, you know, maybe if you're into rock and roll, you're probably saying, is there reggae music? How many yeah. bands are there? Yeah, like yeah. the reason why white british people used to love reggae music you need to think most of them like rock bands but then what was existent during the time when they were listening to reggae you had the Ab abyssinians with sata masagana yes. they were bands you had mighty diamond yeah, you had yeah. all these all these artists that toured with bands so it yeah, was the closest yeah. thing to rock and roll they mm. told stories it was a whole compact thing Yes. When you took away the bands and you start performing with tracks, you took away the message, as you said, yeah. because now the music being performed in a different way. And then what has happened now where a lot of Afrobeat or any other music genre looking at reggae now, they're probably thinking, you, you guys ain't coming out with no message yeah, now. Yeah. You're talking about scamming, they're talking about this and that. But it is there. The reggae is there and the good messages are there, but no investments being done to the root. Yeah. And reggae is the root. Dancehall is a branch that yeah, like, come yeah, off right, of reggae. Yeah, right, so right. remember, you know, if you're not feeding the root, eventually these branches gonna start falling off yeah, yeah, and yeah, everything. Yeah. So yeah. that exactly. that is where it is where there is reggae coming out and whatever. The money ain't there, the investment ain't there. So it look like nothing not happening. I know good music not coming out, but I mean they are. But it's hard and it's not being pushed in front of us. But we get the odd example. YG Marley. Young youth, don't even have locks. We know him background, Lauren Hill, his <laughs> mother, mm. Bob Marley, grandfather. But he could have sing anything. He could, he's a, he's in a, grew up in America. He could have sing anything about America. His Bob Marley grandnef, uh, grand, grandson, it wouldn't be no big deal, any song he chose to sing. Mm. Yeah? But this man talked about praising Ja in the moonlight. Yeah. And he just reminded everybody. I, remember, I, I think I saw an interview with Junior Gang saying he sampled the same song from his father and he was looking to put out the record, but then he heard his record. Mm. And he said it's better it came from him. Yeah, because a that. young person like him that could have seen anything, he could have right. seen about jewelry, being rich up yeah. in the club, yeah. whatever. And yeah. people would have said, oh, this is different. Yeah. What, finally, somebody from Bob that not singing about the culture thing mm. and yeah. it's still his family. But the fact that he chose a cultural to topic, it influenced you that, oh, we don't have to sing about up in the club and whatever. Look how big yeah. this song get. Yeah. And he's talking about praising Jai in the moonlight. And, and that, mm. that's such a requested mm. song. I play mm. it every week and that song gets requested by mm -hmm. all demographics. They love yeah. that song. So, mm. yeah. Yeah, that's the thing, the, the good thing about Bujo being up because he can tell that journey from dance yes, take a break, was come message. up with the reggae yeah, till yeah. Shiloh, come up with it. And he's done that journey. And that's why, as he said, as a philosopher, he's able to be a philosopher because he's lived that mm -hmm. journey of dance hall. I was on the branch and I've gone to the root by yeah. doing some reggae and I can still move from the root now mm -hmm. to go back to the branch mm -hmm. and still do dance hall. So he's the link between everything. All right, bit of controversy now in a nutshell, yeah? Yeah. So we spoke, that's that's Big Up Bojo. Yeah, yeah. great yeah. legend. Bit of controversy now. <laughs> the man went to jail, yeah? He went to jail. Now, do we, here's my question, and I'm going to direct it at you, the DJ, and then yeah. I'm going to direct it at you, the artist. Mm -hmm. Do we, this whole cancel culture everyone loves doing, mm -hmm. yeah? Are we picking and choosing who we cancel? Do Does it? Does it matter what the crime is if you get cancelled or not? Because there's this whole debate of do we play Diddy songs? Do we play Jackie or do we like but there there was never that debate with Budger. What's your thoughts on that? What was the last big song we heard from Bujo before he went inside? For what he went Driver. inside? Driver. 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 So if yeah, I yeah, tell yeah. that yeah. story yeah. Should I, should I never in my song, mm. <laughs> I tell that story in my song and you later see. Me go do time for something that I'm talking about in mm. my music. And in my song, I'm just talking about the movement of something. 
And that is what I've gone to do time. Mm. So it never hurt nobody. You mm. never hear so what I sell nobody, kill nobody yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I go do my time. I come out. I don't want to talk about the topic. I did my time. Mm -hmm. Now I want to do music. Fair enough. I'm, I'm just talking about that particular crime. If somebody talking about other things, yeah. it's different. Because if a man was talking about doing some things to women or whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, yeah, totally or, or a woman yeah. talking about locking up a good man point, and torturing good point, him, good point, good point. And, and then go do time for that, yeah. and, and whatever, then there's a different outlook. But for what he was talking about in his music was the movement of certain supplies and whatever. He never said... Yo, I'm gonna sell you this thing and then it kill you off and I don't care about your family that they, yeah. that you know that that sniff this or whatever. No, he talk about the movement of whatever. Whatever he was talking about, he talk about it in the song. It was a song that was widely accepted. Then, you know, further on you find out, okay, it's not just storytelling. Yeah. <laughs> the man was living but he's this, done his time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah he was yeah, living man. his life. And he do his yeah, time man. and whatever. That's a part of the the whole judicial Fair system. Fair yeah. Yeah. Fair when he comes out, he doesn't need to talk about it. He's allowed to carry on with his life and record his music. Yeah. Fair play. Yeah. Just music, are you in the grid? Sounds like you're in the grid. No, I mean, I give you what I say. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm just simple in my simple thing. We say eagles, eagles have a feather sword together, right? Mm. So, so we say that's my tribe, innit? So, mm -hmm. when when we understand what he's gone to jail for, and and we was, but like, we not have people around where we probably even condone things like that. If you condone something like that and say, "Boy, you know him," you understand, then you will see with him. Mm -hmm. the, the problem comes down to now: we all have all morals and principles. Mm -hmm. If if what somebody's done, you're not can do with that. You yeah. understand? And you're like, yep. "Listen, that's not my kind of people." I'm canceling. We get that, a, yeah. regardless if you didn't like him song before. Now you're seeing somebody's mindset. You right. understand? So you can't listen to their words no more. Yeah. Because before the words come out, you have to think first. You I understand mm -hmm. and then the words come and then the actions so even if you like this song when you see some somebody's done something you you definitely know that's who they are in their mind now mm -hmm. you understand because they at first had to have these thoughts and they spoke like this it's just that you never saw these words you only saw the words that they gave you on the songs but when they do this action mm -hmm. they get to realize that we're really in at them brains you understand and, and i can't yeah. and i can't be against somebody that probably want cancel yeah. no somebody might have a family member that overdose or whatever. Mm -hmm. And they have a problem with somebody that's going to brag about distributing whatever supplies True. or whatever or, or using it because their trauma, their background, if they come from that background, if you can say, yo, I'm going to sing about that or whatever, I'm going to lose half yes. of him or whatever, that's their thing. So it then okay. comes down I'm to the person's too. journey mm -hmm. and whatever and their reason. But as I said, right, as well. yeah, I get that's it. Right. There can be some hypocrisy or whatever, but mm -hmm. then it comes down to whatever. But I'm saying if in, in that particular journey where my stance is with his journey and whatever, mm -hmm. then I can understand where some people say, yeah, yeah, he's done his thing or whatever. He sang about it. He lived it and whatever. It never hurt nobody mm -hmm. based on the evidence and whatever. It never hurt nobody. He yeah. was just doing time for the whatever, actual whatever. intent yeah. of yeah. Whatever. Whatever, whatever. Boom, whatever. boom, boom. Yeah, but sure. if somebody jumps up and said, listen, well, me lose some family member to them thing then and my mother they grow up or my father grow up and lose my parenting because I drugs mash up my family and they have a thing where they're not playing it. You can't yeah, fight that yeah, person yeah, for saying, yeah, that's their story. Yeah, that's their yeah, story yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah, and that's yeah, what, yeah, because yeah, we have to also yeah, respect yeah. what makes somebody cope and feel good and mm -hmm. respect that. If they feel like, yo, me can't mess with that because it make me feel some type of way. Then that's just it. Yeah. yeah. Everyone has different right. mechanisms. Yeah, yeah man. Cool, so, cool. Um, my final question to both of you. Um, the state of UK dance hall. <laughs> shambles. That's going to be yeah. a great intro for bringing on YG and all. So get ready. Yeah. YG shambles. <laughs> um, um, YG say it's in shambles. Like, what's your honest opinion on UK dancer in its current state? My honest opinion. Answer this in under two minutes for us, please, guys. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> UK dancer, I believe. Like they, the people are trying to hold, like, like how can I say they? People are trying to pick themselves as a little group to wave the banner to say we're a UK dancehall only, right? Yeah, I see a big problem with that because when I first started doing music over here, I was asked, "Why have you got UK in your name?" Yeah. Don't you think that that's that it shouldn't just be dance hall and then I'm like, no, because I live in England and the, yeah. the dance hall, this dance hall, because I deliver a dance hall, but the music I make is English music. Yes, English you know, the dance, dance hall, UK so dance now, hall. So now, then I started trying to run around and, you know, I mean, go, go this party card or this Independence Day party, mm. here, there, here, there, that, um, what you part radio station I was trying to do when we released the, um, this um, um, romantic with yeah. the angel. And, and you, you know what I've, I realized? 
it's like just because I only had the one song mm. and people say, well, I don't recognize you as an artist. Just, right. I got shut up. Yeah. I, after that, I, I got my song Jealousy played on the radio station. After that, and Romantic and Jealousy had never got played again until two years later when Dark Charm said, yo, see what I read him the dog? Jump on a read him a project. So, like, right, really and truly, there is no, there is no um, platform out here for UK dance mm. over here. You have a few people who are trying to like gate keep something to say. If you want to hear UK dance, I listen to these uh, people. But they like they're that trying to music <laughs> that they're gatekeeping, but there's nothing really to gatekeep. I'm just gonna keep it 100, right? All right. You get the, 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 before you even yeah, get there. Yeah, yeah. They're not even making music. No, real talk. They're not making good music. Bro. Yeah. They're not making yeah. music. Thank you. Epic said that again. Epic said that again. Why are you gatekeeping again? if there's nothing behind the gift? Right. right. Get, you, you, exactly. You're just gift. Right. Exactly. You're in front of a gift. Yeah. You're not keeping it. They might try to yeah. no, so, keep your trolley yeah. shot. But the truth is. Yeah, exactly. Most important. Why if you get rid of the wings, you know, we're going to bring you in. Why if you get rid of the wings? Yeah. 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 I'm going to show you this. Everybody have a responsibility to make any industry, and I can tell you this: no industry, yeah. especially entertainment, cannot move forward without gossip. It goes on some type yeah. of way. Mm -hmm. yeah. What turn artist into being a good artist into a star? People have to talk about you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the same thing where people don't like, like, yo, they're my bad mind me. Yo, why them always a talk about me? That you need to be spoken about. Yeah. You need yeah. to be gossiped about. You need rumors upon you. Yet the more people talking about you. Right, mm -hmm. making yeah. content on yeah. you on YouTube it's, podcasts it's what or you whatever. Do with it it yeah. have to be no. Yeah. So if you're there, there's nothing to discuss and we don't have enough podcasts and enough gossip columns and mm -hmm. enough hatred mm -hmm. and bad mind, you won't become a star. You it's not true. Yeah. It's, it's, and it's, then what like, there's certain things we yeah. don't like talking about. Festivals, events are big because what people can access there. Mm -hmm. It's an unspoken rule. As a promoter, you don't want to associate yourself with people can come get jugs there. Yeah. But the fact is, a lot of people go to events to get it. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing if you're talking about whether you want to talk about building UK dance or whatever. You have to give people content to talk about it. You have to have the good music too. But you need to be, it needs to be a thing where when people speak about you, it's actual content where... Yeah. Okay, I'm interested. I want to go on between just and so and so. What's going on between? I'm not yeah. saying people need to stage stuff or whatever, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. continue doing stuff. And now, how I look at artists too. If you're an artist, 2024 come come we're coming towards the end of 2024. I don't see no video. You release <laughs> eight amount of song. I don't see no music video. <laughs> Full the whole I don't see no EP or no album. Then really and truly, are your artist? It's like you telling me that yeah. you worked at these ten jobs and yes. I can't get no yes. reference. Oh, yeah. So. Good. As an artist, you need yeah. to make sure there's certain things like video. And, and, and it means working class. Sometimes money, we know, can be a problem. Mm -hmm. But as I said, the industry, everybody have to do them part. Yeah. So if you're not on a whole right. video, make sure you appear on some whole podcasts. You have right. some, some content. Yeah. Yeah. So them need to do something as artists. People like these pod the podcast platform, them need to talk about more things and yeah, think but, about yeah, them. Yeah, but they're not giving us nothing to talk about. Let's, I mean, I'm just keeping 100%. They'll continue bash them until they answer. UK dance <laughs> artists are lazy, yeah? When it comes to video, because when we had our, um, the dance our visual charts and I was looking for UK artists' music videos, there's none. Mm -hmm. There's none. So there there's needs nothing to be there. some, some right. collaboration process with you because right. we know enough people with camera. Yeah. yeah, but 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 and phone. but but I can talk <laughs> in production in, produ in defense. Yeah, yeah. production can back me up as yeah. well. They don't want to spend, bro. That's you understand? It as well. Because remember, yeah, not like people spend. have camera, but it's not what well, have you got camera money? Yeah, mm -hmm. and then that's the thing. It's like they don't want to invest. So what they're doing is they're putting out some like a half-hearted thing, or they're putting out nothing. So you have to find the balance. And unfortunately, we do have a time restraint, yeah, yeah. so I can't even tap into that as much as I want to I swear mm -hmm. to God but just before we go I have to I have to utilise the fact that we have the big bad DJ and producer right yeah, here yeah, we have yeah, a big yeah, bad yeah, artist yeah. right here Listen, real quick I'm, I want you to talk to the people them right now in just literally in under yeah, a minute man. Epic you're going to tell the people them in the UK the artists them what they can do to attract people like yourself as a producer as a DJ and um, just uh, as soon as he's finished that mm -hmm. you're going to say some of the struggles that you faced as an artist quickly in yeah, under yeah, one man. minute mm -hmm. thank you very much yeah so as an artist as I said, I mentioned it earlier, you have to have some form of journey, tell some form of story. And in doing that, we're in a visual world now. So I need to be seeing content. If I'm not seeing, if you don't have a lot of music videos, at least have a lot of performance videos. Have I mean, there's cool. people that have microphone hang mm. from wherever. Yeah. You get a white wall. Yeah. You DJ over your song that you record. It's better than not having nothing, nothing at, all. at all. Thank Everybody you have some form of phone. So be 
creative, be innovative. If you don't have money, then make use of TikTok and all those other things or make use of other people platform until you can build up that, that, that money. Mm -hmm. Build interest yes. in what you're doing. Thank yeah. you very and much. Uh, most importantly, if you start keeping things like you release a song, make it an event, single release, video release, whatever. When you show people you have an audience and they come and experience your music, they want to play it. Sure, they yes. want to, to, to book you for shows. Sure. Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much, yeah. Epic. Thank you for that. Um, just as something you do so well, you've been able to build a core cool audience. But just talk, just tell us some of the struggles that you have found being a UK dance artist in the UK. Um, the struggles I find as a UK dancer artist is um, people are, like, over here, you don't get, you're not getting no credibility and credit if you're not sort of like in a certain crowd. Whereas a lot of people say they want to see you out there everywhere. Mm -hmm. And I think that's just being active on the ground and none of that is nothing to do with being active, like building a core fan base and making sure that you're building a, um, a legacy with longevity music. You understand? Mm -hmm. So... My struggles that I've faced is actually getting my foot through the door. Yeah, okay. so people can listen to man, especially mm -hmm. getting onto the radio stations and um, DJs, getting your music into the hands of DJs and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I think as an independent artist, what you really want to focus on, which is what we focus on, right? Yeah, is touching the people on the ground, mm -hmm. gaining fans. Yeah, if, if I release a song right now and we're going to put on a party next week, I know 300 people will come. And those 300 people are not coming just because they like dance our music. Yeah, they're coming, they're coming music. because they like all music and what we're doing. You understand? Perfect. So I would say focus on that first. I know a lot of people in the UK because we're not recognized as like dancer because it's not Jamaica. People really want to see, they want to see you everywhere and you're going viral before they take you seriously. Yeah. But what I'm saying is that's only one part of the music business. Mm -hmm. And we have to understand, so yeah, when you see men on platforms and stuff and you think I'm going viral, that platform is made of people. Mm -hmm. So really and truly, everybody is a platform. You just yeah. need to connect yourself with yeah. a thousand people and now you just made a thousand people platform. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. So the challenges are getting it out there. I would say you, if you realize that you're not getting seen and heard, you're going to have to find another way to yeah. get seen and heard. Perfect. You know what and, I mean? And I can see Epic Jones like nodding away over there like Churchill, so I can see he's yeah, in agreement. Yeah. Um, Epic Jones, I just want to say thank you very much for your time. Thank you so yes. much. You dropped some very good insights um, here today. You look like we have to get him back for a part few, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, Jesus Christ. He's intellectual. Christ. Yeah, I like, I like, yeah, I like the it. You um, what we're going to do now, yeah, we've got a little bit more time. I'm going to make way for Wifey, who is yes. also the management of yeah. Jester. So um, we're going to swap seats with um, Epic and we're going to get, is it Becky? Becca Boo. Yeah. Becky, Becky Boo. Becky Boo. Yeah. Becky, Becky, Becky Boo. Becky Boo. Becky Boo. So we're going to get... Um, Damn. How are you, Becca Boo? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna mm. get Becca Boo on. Not the, not the hour you baby. Not the, not the, not the <laughs> get a room. Well, 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 yes. Aww. 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 Get a room. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you know what? I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. need you to go to where Epic was so you can sorry. get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. Get, to, yeah, I'm so yeah. sorry, man. She I like, she like if you can it like Wi-Fi. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so um, I'm I'm just gonna get straight into it. First of all, welcome to the show. Thank you Hello. very much for being here. Yeah, you know what I mean. Hello, everyone. You're yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, I'm gonna get straight into it, man. Go for it. Um, so Becky, you are the manager, correct? I of am. Jester. Yep. Yeah. How long have you been managing him? Oh, five and a half years. Five and a half years. Yep. Yeah. So in terms of management, obviously, when you manage someone, you kind of got to be a fan of them. But how much yeah. of a fan are you to Jester? Right. To, first of all, with Jesto, uh, we've been together eight years, okay. right? At the beginning of the journey, you would always say, telling me that yeah, he can spit and et cetera. Do you know what I mean? I never yeah. took no mind to it because yeah. I put my hands up. I'm not a connoisseur of dance or, and reggae. Mm. Love that. Keep it real. But I know a good sound if I hear it. Right. Okay? Yeah. I'm a dancer first. Mad. I do music videos and choreography before I met Jester. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay? One thing that taught me, is when I'm dancing in the clubs and I'm seeing people and I'm watching the crowd movement with a new song out this weekend, etc. Yeah. It taught my ear to know what was good and what mm -hmm. was bad and mm -hmm. etc. Yeah. Going back to Jester personally, I will never forget a Pacific day that we were in the house and I think it was Christmas, Jester, wasn't it? Christmas. And he started spitting some lyrics and I was like, 
Yeah. 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 Tell us a yeah. And then there was another day about three weeks later and we were working the night shift and we yeah. had a recruitment company and we were just getting ready and he was in the shower and he was singing now. Okay. And I was like, what? I thought he could only spit lyrics. Mad. So I've gone to the door. I'm like, he's come out. I've gone, what are we doing? And he went, what? And I went, yeah, well, you can talking. sing. <laughs> We're talking about. <laughs> you can spit. You've got bars. You can sing. Why are we working? Mm -hmm. We need to start chasing your talent. Mad. Yeah. Now, the truth be told, a lot of people do know me for Funky House mm -hmm. and holding house raves um, from the Super D's to the Gavin Peters. Like, these yeah, are okay. people that mad, know of me. Mad, yeah. That's what I'm known for. 2,500 parties. I've done the O2 Arena three times on my own. Oh, okay. Nice. So, that is what I'm known for in regards to music. Yeah. But elaborating, all right, into the genre that we're talking about, I've never pigeonholed him. Yeah. Never. Yeah. yeah. And whenever I used to defend him in interviews or trying to get him a book in or trying to get him an interview or what have you, I would always say to them, please don't look at him like he's just because he's Jamaican and he speaks Patois mm -hmm. and you're going to put him in a reggae and dancehall box because this is not that kind of party. Yeah. And I will state that everyone has got their different journeys. Mm -hmm. Okay. I get that. All right. Yeah. But this particular journey, we were never working on clickbait. Yeah, we were yeah. never working on chuck a tune now growth. just to stay yeah. relevant. That's it. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Okay, we were never doing that. Yeah. We had a strategical plan. Yeah. We wanted to do a sofa audience and we were going to work towards a certain plan on our journey. Yeah. It might not work for you guys at home. I'm mm. not saying that. Everyone's got different journeys. Different, yeah, yeah, yeah. But what we were working and how I believed in this coupled on movement, yeah. that is what we were working towards, what we thought that would fit Jester's. Mm. Uh, but future, yeah. all right. But that's the answer to that. Yeah. Can, can, can I just say, Jester? Um, obviously you are a phenomenal artist. You're a very energetic Thank artist. You're very you. talented. I just Thank want to say that. I say that with no, yeah, with no apology. Yeah. Um, but I just want to take some of the highlight off of you for a second, my bro, because behind every, you know, is that young woman? Uh, there you go. <laughs> 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 there you go. Wait, 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 Yo, the you know what it is. Come out. <laughs> so, all right. Yeah. So, and and do you know what you've that just confirmed will, yeah. it for me? Yeah. Like you've yeah. come on here. You've said what you've had to say. You haven't minced your words. You know, you're very, you're very assertive in yeah. what you're saying. And yeah, I can yeah, already right. see, I yeah. can already see like, you're not the type, because I call them damagers. Yeah. yeah. You're mm. some managers. They're not managers. They're damagers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And mm -hmm. they feel like they're managing, but they're not. They're just I've damaging. That. Yeah. yeah. I've been called that. Trust I'm, me. I'm going to get there. <laughs> yeah. I, I know we ain't got long, but I am going to get there. However, you are not afraid. Like you're shameless. You're not afraid to go out there, get yeah. him heard, get him yeah. seen, get him bookings. Like, right. how do you do that? Especially as a white woman in what you just said, a scene that you are not a connoisseur in. How, how do you put on that brave face and go out there? How do you t talk to us about mm -hmm. some of those experiences? What's it like for you to do that? Okay. There's two things that I abide by, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. One, other conversations that people ain't, mm -hmm. that no money, no family relative, put us in the room it was just the music mm -hmm. okay for that on its own i don't really care what anyone else says right. to me mm -hmm. because the quality over the quantity Eggs. that i've heard speak to me mm -hmm. about him yeah i don't need to listen to your opinion yeah. all right? right i don't care whether i'm white i don't care whether i'm english yeah i've heard <laughs> proper connoisseurs, proper music industry people. And let's name one. Let's do it for the record. Let's go there. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Let's go there. Get that microphone yeah. there. Right, let's go there. Yeah. It was COVID, Halloween, and we were nine months in. All right. And this is just for the record of persistency and belief. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nine months in for me to be blocked by Fat Joe. I'm sure you're all aware of who Fat Joe is. Yeah, man, yeah, yeah? Man. yeah. Fat Joe also in COVID had the biggest international uh, Instagram talent show that there ever was. Mm -hmm. Okay. Going back to the quality over quantity, quantity. Mm -hmm. was different. Second of all, we knew this because 
we were working against that because I was saying to Jester, we're working on the night shift. So every single UK artist is asleep mm -hmm. and we're right. awake. Yeah. So we're going against the grind. Right. Yeah. So I tell right. you what, we'll work with a different country. If, if the London dance or UK scene <laughs> is not going to accept Jester, Talk. we will go to a different country, mm -hmm. my oh, darling, yeah, and we will drown you out and saturate you that way. Okay? Because I like if, her. I like yeah. her. I like in her. my world, yeah. Yeah, I'm a big mouth girl, yeah, and I'll stand by what I believe in, yeah, but in my world, forget about music and everything. A leader creates other leaders. Right. Okay? Mm -hmm. And if you want to claim that you are a leader of dance or UK music, you're not doing a very good job of it, my friend, because I don't see other leaders coming out here and congregating and unity and unify together. As a white woman in London town, okay, where I grew up, Jester wasn't born. I'm just going to state a fact that I, as a job to a manager to my artist, I follow umpteen amount of people that Jester doesn't. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. When you go onto my page, you see different quality to what is on Jester's page. Mm -hmm. This is because I want to know what is going on because I stated I'm not a connoisseur mm -hmm. of dance and reggae and I'm a white English girl. Mm -hmm. So I need to educate myself, mm -hmm. Styler. Yes. All right? Mm -hmm. So by doing that, I will look out for the people that are holding the scene together, right? Mm -hmm. I don't see you on my timeline. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see you on my timeline. Okay? So I'm not being <laughs> horrible mm -hmm. about what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm a white English girl that should be getting educated by the Jamaican scene in London yeah. when oh, I live Lord. in London. Oh, I don't God. live in Nottingham. I don't live in Manchester. Yeah. I live in London. Mm -hmm. I am going to, what was it, Tipsy Thursdays or whatever and, <laughs> and all of these different parties. We've we done, we done all of that. We've done all of that in the first we year. Tried we, we tried to do all of this. Yeah. We, we, listen, yeah. we got shut up. I like that. We got, I we like got shut up. I like that. I like that. I like the fact that you forgot about it over here and you're trying your thing over there. I, don't, I love that. I don't, don't want to ruin the moment. You're, 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 you're spitting some flames. I need that I into that microphone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Let me finish I need, off my story. I need that yeah. projected properly. Exactly. Right. Thank you, Jester. Yeah. Well, I'll finish off my story, yeah? Got, yeah. Me and Jester, we were in the bedroom. I've got my pyjamas on. I'll give you a vision. Yeah, man, no, no, that's good. That's good. Right. <laughs> I'll give you a vision. We're good there. We're good there. I'm spamming. I've, blocked, I've been blocked by Fat Joey's unblock me, mm. like in this nine month period of me trying to get <laughs> Jester on this live. Yeah. Okay. I'm sitting there, it's Halloween 2020. I'll never forget the moment. Now, my daddy's got dementia. And at 11 o'clock at night, you cannot start turning on a sound system. Me and him will get beaten up in a heartbeat, right? <laughs> so, keeping it 100, I'm sitting there, I'm pressing it. I'm like, what are you doing? And he's like, what do you mean? I'm going to bed. And I was like, babe, I sound like Barry White. I cannot sing. I cannot spit. They don't want to listen to me. And he went, well, it ain't going to work, babe. Can you please give up? Please. And that is answering that other question about belief. Because <laughs> I believe in my husband. I believe in his talent. I believe in the I people that. that have fed yeah. my ear to make me talk mm -hmm. like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. All of a sudden, I look back and I've got Fat Joe on my live. Yeah. Okay. London town, what's going on? I went, oh, shit. Like this jump, excuse my French, jumped out of the bed. We've ran down the stairs. He knows me so well that he knows I'm sidewinding Fat Joe. Fat Joe today, he, you knew that I did that, right? Because we've spoke several times mm. and we still speak for the last two and a half years. And I relate to you. Thank you for keeping in contact mm. because that's a real one. Fat Joe is for the music, mm. okay? Mm. And when he asked me, you're a rapper, you're a singer, I'm like, listen, Joe. Do not put the phone down on me. I've seen your show. I know you give us 10 seconds. But obviously, I'm biding my time to run down the stairs, get in the car, mm. go off the driveway, get the Bluetooth. Jester's doing it. So he's like, are you, what are you doing, London? And I was like, <laughs> I'm not doing nothing, but he is. <laughs> and I just turned the camera. Sick. When mm. I saw the reaction to 20 seconds of Jester, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't need to worry about everyone because that's why I call you haters now. Yeah. yeah. All right. I call you haters now. All right. Because we've been on platforms that the dance or UK scene don't know that we were yeah. on there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's going back to what I said to you. Yeah. yeah. I heard conversations. Yeah. I've been in rooms with celebrities that I didn't even know. Styler, I didn't even know that yeah. they were having seven number ones. I was pulled out of the meeting. In Kingston 10, yeah, I got pulled out of the meeting and said, excuse me, love, can I have a chat with you? 
And it was like, what? And they was like, do you realise who you're talking to? Mm. I went, have I said anything wrong? And they're like, no. And I said, well, have I been offensive? They went, no. I said, so what What are we talking about? I'm just making you, listen, mate, I'm not being rude or nothing, yeah? I said, but I speak to that person in that room the same way I speak to my mum and dad and Jester. And this is, I talk with chest. I talk with confidence. I walk my talk, mm -hmm. all right? I've got an infectious personality, you do, all right? You do, you and do. when you, when I leave a room, you know I was in it, mm -hmm. yeah, okay? Yeah. Because as another platform yes, I went on, mm -hmm. and I do rep mm -hmm. my husband because I'm not wasting his time, mm -hmm. all right? I'm in his life to make a change, right. all right? And when I went on million dollars worth of game and I went on there with Gilly, yeah? And I said to Gilly, Gilly, tell me something. And he's like, what? And I said, and I will talk to him the same way too. Mm -hmm. Tell me something. Give me some advice from my husband. Give me advice to, uh, to manage him properly. Yeah. And he went, love, make them listen. Mm-hmm. No problem. That's it. That's what I went and done. Well, and if you want to hate on me because always. you wish you had a Becca Boo in your life, <laughs> yeah. yes, I'm a one Becca. You. you know what? <laughs> yeah, don't hate on me for backing my man. I want Becca on your man. Don't hate on me for having decibels and, and listen, having volume listen, buttons listen. that don't work. And she can't back or flag a dead horse either. Understand this. Come this, on, is, yeah. this is this is a fifty. You can't hate on me for that style of mm -hmm. backing my man. She's pushing, no, pushing, no. pushing, and this can go nowhere. But I've had DJs call me damager. Both sides. I've had them. Yeah, we've had a full blown conversation with a very big DJ. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to go there because I'm not giving you airtime and yeah. we're going to leave that conversation where it got deaded so I'm just saying mm. I've been accused of that uh, yeah. all yeah. right do you know do you know what we're going to have to do Coco yeah I didn't realize it before Part we got two. to the session do you know what we have booked big up production we booked a um three hour studio session mm. for this podcast um we were expecting a third guest but unfortunately he's had to go leave London mm -hmm. but he will be here next week um, we've got the day of that next week. Yeah, yeah. without fail, it has to happen. Mm -hmm. I now have to have <laughs> Becky and Jester back. back. Yeah, I have Becky and Jester. Yeah, no, I have Becky. No, 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 hey, hey, so, hey, so, no, no, listen, listen. I have yeah. to have them back. Oh. Yeah. My, my oh. wife, she needs a mic. I like yeah. she needs yeah, yeah, a mic no, no, and a I, stage, and I, I said that to her from because with respect to um. Uh, we, we obviously we are part of the production here, but we do have other people that use the studio. We have to respect them. Yes, but I cannot cut off and leave this leave it, yeah. podcast like this. Yeah. Um, this is a mad cliffhanger. For those of you that are watching this um, this segment, I know I know you don't want to hear more from these two. I know mm -hmm. you do. I do. I, I, know, do. I know Coco I do. does. I do. Yeah, and we want to hear more from these two. Um, it's, it's unfiltered. It's, it's, it's the truth. We love it. Um, and you know what I love? You're able to um, articulate yourself and you're, you're mm -hmm. not disrespecting anyone. You're I'm not, not. You're not cursing. You're not, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? You're just, just talking, talking about our experience. Mm -hmm. I love that. How yeah. we've been treated. And this is what yeah. this platform is about. This is why I said, um, Coco, we need yeah. to put this platform out there, you know, out yeah. of many. And, and you, you are the epitome of Definitely. that. Literally, Definitely. you are the epitome of Thank that. Thank you very much. And um, I'll take that on the chin. Yeah, like people, oh, there's a dancer. What's that white going on? We're going to see what this white going on. Yeah. We're gonna do yeah, this one. Yeah, yeah. 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 Note, yeah. You know that. Know Keep good. that same energy. Yeah. 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 Keep the same energy. You know when you see me. Yeah. Yeah. Mike, I need, I need, I need the mic to pick her up. When you see me, yeah. All right. I'm not being aggressive or anything. I'm just gonna screenshot the DMs that I sent you and show you them. So be very careful how you word yourself when you talk to me, how you uh, want to get to him, yeah. okay? Because I am the ultimate gatekeeper that's mm. going to open up her <laughs> mouth. <laughs> understand that for the record. No, 100% because I hear what I'm people don't understand. There's an archive. You know, you have social media and everybody have smartphone. Mm -hmm. We all have an archive now and you can go right back to the beginning. Yeah. And you can You're damn right, I will. Who mm -hmm. I will remind you of the effort yeah, I put in. 100. Yeah, you can see, you, we, we'll see we, we will see everybody who went, and, and yeah. turn your PNG yeah. and you slam the door in your face. You're gonna yeah. understand. Mm. And and there's a there's a not me and I were just talking about that this this morning, right? Yeah. We know, and I know hundred percent because I used to be on my lives a lot. I used to do a lot of Instagram live. Mm. Now, so even though a lot of people, because I did hear some narratives, he hasn't got a lot of music, he's only released two or three songs. I know. So you're telling me, yeah, mm -hmm. that if this is what you knew of me, three songs, and you're telling me that them three songs has more credibility than a lot of music I've heard when I was releasing them songs. Don't tell me that you never ever once came onto a Jester Dancer live and seen me on that live for over an hour. You mm -hmm. understand? I entertain people for over an hour. I go to, I go to um, people's stage shows and them thing there. I mean, I entertain the whole, I feed them mm -hmm. fans and them thing there for half an hour. Mm -hmm. I put in a lot of work. A lot of yeah. people acting like, yo, you're not really an artist because you only release two songs. 
That's a lie because a lot of people saw me and saw me out there on the stages and doing work and say, yo, that brother I'm up the sound, he might do a six, seven, eight, nine, ten songs. Just so you're they a might, threat. They I'm might not be released. So this is what I'm trying to you're say. You're a threat. Every, a lot of people saw man's lie. You understand? You just didn't want me to get seen because... Yeah. They, I've been around so much people, man, that if they just open their mouth one time and say, you know, so I bet they are bad. <coughs> Everybody in the UK dancer would have known about me. Nah. You understand? Mm -hmm. But I, we, we made it, yeah, like, actually made this a point of, of not even letting anybody know whether I'm related to this person or I'm connected to this person. And I yeah. could actually go, yeah, I could yeah, actually go and make like three, four collabs right now with some of the biggest names in UK yeah. dancer. Mm -hmm. I could do that. It will come out in time yes, and but, people will ask him. But there's no need to talk about that the right only, now. The only question you could ask is, why haven't you? Yeah. That is the why question. Why haven't you have mentioned up. that? No, I, why I, why I, haven't you? I love oh, the goodness. fact that um, you're mm -hmm. one of the more authentic artists in the sense that it's just raw talent. You know, even yeah. as Becky was saying before, um, you made a great point. And as I said, I, I have to continue this. We have to get you yeah, back in next week. Continue, I'll yeah. come off the air and I will tell you when it is. You have to be here and we're going to get that session, I promise you, between, you know who it is. Yeah, 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 we're going yeah, 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 to make that happen um, because I have to make way for the next, you know. Um, however, you made a very good point in what you said. I asked you a question and I said to you, how do you show that shameless face how do you show that brave face and I love what you said and I'm going to just quickly reiterate that and I want to say this message out there because I hope what Becky said and what I'm about to say can inspire people a lot of people also come to me and they say oh Styler like you know how do you deal with people spreading these rumours on your name and you need this care. and that do you know what exactly what Becky said it's insignificant mm -hmm. I care zero because the people them that are talking and spreading the rumours they mean zero to me right. because my name is being spoke about in bigger rooms mm -hmm. and that's what I'm saying to you mm -hmm. and the same people that these people you lot look up to and respect then people are respecting me so yeah. it just it's a full circle you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying to you rich people important people speak my name with their mouth with my name in their mouth that's who I, I need to yeah. care about that's so why it. would I care about you who's yeah, so insignificant no. you stay down there you stay down there doing yeah. what you're doing yeah. you're only elevating me because yeah. what you're yeah. doing is when you when you're spreading your rumours people are coming to my page do you know I got bookings off it people said to me Ross Dyle I can't lie I came here because I saw you on the mix up and rare but <laughs> you know you're actually a bad DJ yeah. can you play at my mum's 60th yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it's your yeah. 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 And all you do, all you do, mm. my people, you just blank out the noise. It's because it is. It's what it's noise. Blank out, mm. and you just stay focused, and you keep Quite elevating, nice. keep elevating. And mm. and after a while, the real people with sense and with critical thinking will say. You know, so these people are just haters because True. look, the youth's just doing his thing. He's just mm. like, and they're here talking and he's Ain't done nothing to no one. Yeah, that's right. Exactly that. Yeah. So mm. just stay focused, my people. Just keep elevating. Ignore the noise. And work, your, your name, as Becky said, she's heard the name in rooms of some people. So mm. what she's saying is, it's the talent that does the are talking. Are we going to talk back? More yeah. about that on the we have to we have to get yeah. them back we have to yeah. get them back and I'm so sorry you know what? I'm not sorry it's a cliffhanger I yeah. like I like <laughs> yeah. that was that was yeah. short and, it was short and spicy yeah. I like it because I know suspense. I know you don't want to see more but don't worry we're gonna release it we're gonna release them together might as well isn't it yeah, or, or should we well. make their wait for free make their wait should we release no, this part and make their wait yeah because the next our next guest is a bit yeah. like, boy my people we're even seven minutes over time but we couldn't leave here without getting Becky on but we we need to get Becky and. Sure. Not Jester and Becky, you know, Becky and Becky Jester. And Jester. <laughs> <laughs> back yeah, they'll be the back next, next one. week, yeah. And we're going to have that jam session for you with Jester and our other special guests. They're going to be doing a madness here, right here in the studio, all right? I'm so sorry we've pushed for time yeah. and we have to cut off cut this off. episode yeah. right here. Coco, final words. So big up yourself, people. Thank you for watching the Out of Many podcast. Nice You've done this myself. Uh, I am Coco Dova, Coco Diva, Coco Dova. I am Coco <laughs> yeah. Diva, DJ Styler, Epic Jones, Jester and Boobeck is live in the building. Until next week, people, big up on yourself. Make sure you like, comment, share and subscribe. And remember that your energy is expensive. Don't <laughs> give it away for free. Yes, See right. you later. That big up on yourself. That is it. Thank Come you very on. much. <laughs>